And welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy-ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, tonight's gonna be a fun one, but before we jump into it... <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We ended on an interesting note. Yeah. <laughs> you all hear that heartbeat? That's yeah. weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, but before we get to that, let's go ahead and get to our opening announcements. First and foremost, our glorious returning sponsor for the evening are our friends at Loot Crate! Loot Crate! Loot Crate! Fantastic, awesome people. Sam, you want something to talk about? Yeah, you know, a lot of my uh, Loot Crate plugs have been comedic. Or cute. Uh-huh. Some would say clever. Debatable. Oh. I don't know if I got that. But one thing that's been lacking is a sense of spectacle, of human achievement, of, of record breaking. So tonight I'm going to attempt something that's never been attempted <coughs> before. I'm going to do the Loot Crate copy read here while drinking an entire Coca Cola. Oh no. And a bite sized 100 Grand Bar, oh, Snickers no. Bar, Milky Way, Twix. Oh, another bite sized Snickers Bar. And a uh, Reese's peanut butter cup and a packet of Big League Chew. Oh, yes. No. What? You're in two, two minutes. Okay, I got it. Also, I gotta all this stuff, stuff melted in my car. <laughs> Notice you've so, got a towel. <clears throat> it's actually really gross looking. It's just like, oh, this, God. This looks all right, unhappy. Travis, yeah, yeah. you got the clock ready. Two yeah. minutes. Can it be done? The answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> ready? Three, two, one. Oh, God, God. <clears throat> Loot Crate is a curated collection of awesome items from the best pop culture franchises delivered to your door every month. You'll get the best and most exclusive licensed figures, t-shirts, home goods, and more. Oh no. You're doing good, you're doing good. Oh my god. He's gonna be At least it's in Mexico. Mm-hmm. No! No, no, don't help me. No, 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 this no, week's no, don't don't help don't help no, 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 great theme better. is primal, featuring awesome swag, from X-Men, Overwatch, and Predator. 30 seconds. Treat yourself every month or give the gift of geeking out to a friend or loved one. <laughs> what the F, man? Uh, if you visit lootcrate.com slash critical role and use coupon code critical role, you'll get 10% oh, off your oh Loot Crate monthly geek crate. Oh, 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 God. God. From collectibles to barrel, deck dance, and art, and a lot of gear. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> That's good. That's like Comic Con in the box. <laughs> One minute. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> How do I separate the gum from the other stuff? <laughs> <laughs> loot crate, loot crate DX, loot gaming, and loot anime. How do you want to do this? Oh, oh. Did you do it? Did no, you do no, it? No, no, no. No. The coke's gotta go. Gotta go. We can't get in. Oh, oh God. Oh, 30 crazy. seconds left. 30 no. seconds left. No. No. <laughs> Work it. Work. Relax the throat. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. He's gonna kill himself. No. Don't. No, no. Ah, well, no. 15 Sam, seconds. Get that oh, shit out of your mouth. I can't do it. I can't do it. Don't look. Don't look. <laughs> 10, <laughs> 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Don't stop fighting. I'm going to make less of you. It doesn't matter anymore. 2, 1. That's it. That's it. Oh, my God. You get a participation ribbon. Well done. So, five years from now, your oh children will be able to Google this. I'm just going to remind you. Oh. Oh. If there was wow. ever a moment in our show <laughs> that will be Can't Gift me. and show up on Giphy, oh, that's it right there. Oh my God. Oh. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> and thank you, Look Great, mm-hmm. for your fantastic sponsorship. <laughs> I feel like we just passed into performance art there. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't, don't forget to use the code critical role for 10, 10% off your loot crate monthly geek crate. That uh, entire tooth that is just, brown. Like, throw up. Oh, I, I feel like yeah, I can't hang. Teeth are all brown. Can't hang. Oh. So I feel like that's an opening act to Gaga's next tour. Oh, like, yeah. that's... listen, real art makes you uncomfortable and challenges you. <laughs> 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 
The Super Bowl Con- consider us challenged oh. and uncomfortable. Oh. That made my eyes water and not in a good way. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, part of the back of my head. Thank you, Sam. Ooh. I'm no longer Thank thinking you. about the game. Well done. Yeah. 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 No, yeah, not even done. thinking yeah. a little bit about the game. Wow. All right. I'll, I'll take care of this. Wow. Uh, next Roll up. it up and burn it. Do you want to handle yeah. that? You gonna finish that coke? Oh yeah. Still the way to be sure. Um, all right, so last week we mentioned this, so I want to tell you guys again, thanks to Qualcomm, Lionsgate, and their new VR experience, and the new upcoming Power Rangers movie, uh, our friends at Nerdist are doing a circumstance where you can win a patron to LA to attend the movie premiere of Power Rangers, as Yo. well as Google Pixel phones and Daydream headsets. Uh, it only has one more day, and they wanted to make sure that we let you guys know this for the last day they have going, so be sure to go to Nerdist.com slash Power Rangers giveaway to learn more about this and enter to win. Uh, if this sounds like an awesome thing to you. Uh, yeah. uh, if one of you guys wins, that's great, because then we just have more and more of our community winning everything, which is kind of our long-term plan. Yes! So check it out. Take over the world! Yay! Yay. Uh, okay, next up. Uh, merch. Uh, Lord, do we have oh, any man, updates on that? Oh, man, why do I put food in my mouth? What the fuck are you doing? What are you thinking? Nine, eight, seven, ten, ten, ten. Everyone while she eats, while she swallows. Okay. Oh, the distance on that was incredible. Uh, my hair went in the box. <laughs> hold, hold on, Marcia. Are you okay? Yeah. Are I'm you okay? Our bodies. Why are we not talking about this? That sounded like something that happens when you're diseased. Yeah, I can feel your glycogen spike from <laughs> over here. <laughs> Marcia, you were saying? Um, Stab you in the heart with an epic. Uh, <laughs> this Saturday. We, it's the two year anniversary of Yay! the Twitch stream. Oh, wow. <laughs> My yes. half time was. Isn't that oh, nice God. and pleasant and not disgusting looking? We still, um, yeah. <laughs> it's a 24 hour Twitch stream. There's going to be a lot going on. There's going to be <laughs> Gather Your Party, AXYB special. There's going to be Game the Game. And Breaded we're men? going to Bearded Men. Oh, I saw some Bearded Men. 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 I was very no, excited. Bearded Men. <laughs> um, <laughs> And we are going to be playing Mansions of Madness, some of us here. I'm down. Yeah, this like around one o'clock. And this I you're not going to be charity streams and benefiting. Are you, no. Like, <laughs> <H-2-6> <laughs> okay. like yes, talk. yeah, and yes. the whole thing is going to be charity related. Oh, it's all going to go to 826LA. Our friends there since wonderful. the beginning. Yeah. So uh, looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, so donate. We're going to be taking donations. It's going to be great. Exactly. And tomorrow, at noon Pacific time, me and Darren DePaul are going to be guesting on Eric's TBD RPG, the Doctor Who RPG, yeah. uh, from noon to 3 p.m. Uh, tomorrow Pacific, and then I we'll am? be. Oh yeah. my god! Oh my god! And put him in the game. So you- <laughs> put him in the game so you can kill him. Yeah. Okay, it's a good call. <laughs> Uh, and it looks like we'll also be continuing that game on Saturday before the Mansions of Madness stream from 11 to 1. So I'll be here for five hours, again. Uh, on Saturday. <laughs> but it's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. I'm excited to go guest on there and play for a little bit. So uh, hopefully see you guys tomorrow and Saturday. Um, let's see. So, Laura, now that you're... Oh, hey! Hi. How's it Hi. going, guys? Good. Oh. Uh, we have... Don't you touch my donuts. Uh, we have all of the normal, wonderful stuff still available in the store. The stuff that's out of stock actually has been removed so that you don't get confused when you're looking for things. So we have, you know, our Gilmore shirt. We got our Strong Jaws shirt. We got a How Do You Want to Do This shirt with a hoodie. We got, we got baseball caps. We got patches. We got vinyl stickers, which I am still a really big fan of. They go on windshields, MacBooks, whatever you want. Pets. Pets, not recommended. Really? You know, uh, so yeah, check it out if you want to wear your your Critical Role goodies. You're like an Italian grandmother in Hoboken, New Jersey right hey. now. Hey! Bust! Uh, bada bing! Bada bing, bada boom, there you go. Moving on. Big bada boom. Uh, the new Signal Boost came out with Jason Charles Miller as the host. Yeah. Our friend who played Garthok for his temporary run during the initial Conclave attack. Yes, uh, part of the class. Yes, and he he and he, he did is, our theme music. He did yes. our theme music for yeah. the show here. He's a very talented musician, yeah. um, and a good friend of the show. And he can you can see his new run on Signal this, this yeah, week. Yeah. Um, new GM tips is out today. Yeah. Uh, my second to last on the run at this time. Uh, this episode is more for the players and deals with creating and running characters that are against the normal tropes and the type that people generally fall into when creating a character in an RPG. So uh, go check it out. See if. Uh, 
See if any of it seems to, to resonate. Yeah. This, this is now he, how he criticizes us now as he makes a web he makes a little, like a little web video and sends it all to us instead of actually <laughs> yeah. talking to us. Yeah, like, it's very sure. passive aggressive. It's very <laughs> took a while to figure it out, Talison. <laughs> but I'm glad you finally did. Um, <laughs> also, uh, Wednesday Club, Talison. Yes. I actually, it turns out, have to uh, record voiceover on occasion. So Wednesday Club is not going to be me this week, and I'll be talking to comic books to the. Uh, engineer who will be mildly irritated with me. But instead, uh, you guys, Matt Key is going to be uh, hosting and he's going to talk about his favorite thing in the world. Doctor Strange? Doctor Strange. Uh, his wife and Doctor Strange, but that's oh, cool yeah. too. Oh, yeah, his wife. wife. And Doctor Strange. And Doctor Strange. Yeah. His, his, his work wife. <laughs> yeah. so, it's awesome. great. Uh, also, don't forget we have Talks Machina live on Tuesday nights, at 7, 7 p.m. here on Twitch and oh Alpha, uh, hosted by our fantastic Brian Foster. Um, so check us out next week to discuss this episode when it comes up. Uh, last two things: one, we mentioned it on Talks Machina, but one of our fantastic uh, crew members, uh, um, Amandine, who is currently trying to legally find a way to stay in the country, um, currently put up a fundly. Uh, the fun folks here, as part of the cast in the community, put together a fundly. Uh, at fundly.com slash we dash love dash Amandine, A M A N D I N E, uh, to raise money to help with her legal costs to try and keep her here working with us. Um, the community's already been incredible. If you have any interest in helping support that, I recommend go check it out and, and give what little you can because it all helps. Um, and last but not least, we got a, <laughs> got a gift today um, <laughs> in the mail from a, a, a fantastic. Uh, critter named uh, Chris uh, Coppola, who, as part of an anniversary present for me and Marisha, built a treasure chest, like, from scratch, like, cut down the tree, trimmed, lathed, built a treasure chest. That's amazing. That's incredible. incredible. And we thought it was for all of us, but then we realized it was just for Matt and Marisha. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's, it's physically beautiful, but just the, the process that we saw outlined is it's it's be beautiful, beautiful so, gift. Chris, thank you tremendously from from all of us. Yeah, uh, but most of me, Marisha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a dumper in that box at your house. The first opportunity I get. <laughs> Yo. Imagine but no, just a dumping. Uh, <laughs> that is absolutely brilliant and and undeserved. And very happy to find a very wonderful place in our home to fill it with awesome nerdy shit. So thank yeah. you, Chris. Um, all right, I think that's the end of our announcements. That being no, the case, no, 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 no. let's jump yeah, in let's to tonight's episode oh, of Critical Role. Oh. Da, 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 da. Welcome back, everyone. So, picking up where we left off this last episode, uh, Vox Machina uh, had made their way west into the Osmit Sea to the islands of Amun and the city of Vesra, the final stop in Keyleth's long-running Aramente to prove herself leader of her people of Zephra. Here, they were given a task as part of the Aramente where they had to retrieve three lodestones within the rift to the water elemental plane, which as of late have been taken up residence by a kraken, an ancient uh, 
pet of the Titans, now freed and left to wander, to feed, grow, and uh, apparently loom across that boundary. Um, the party went in, and due to an unfortunate vomiting episode underwater, drew oh, the atten- drew the attention <laughs> of Did the you Kraken. Plan that? What? That you were almost vomiting today, and you vomited and ruined our lives. I just plan to vomit every week, okay. <laughs> <laughs> at least once. It's for the best, I think. Yeah. Um, however, drew the attention of the Kraken, and a very, very intense battle ensued, in which most of you managed to escape by the skin of your teeth. However, in the battle, uh, Vax did fall; his his body uh, left cold and lifeless beneath the waters in a. Last minute urge of leadership, Keyleth reached out, grabbed the twins, and plane shifted back uh, into the Prime Material plane with Percival, Tarion, and Grog looking to escape. Uh, you managed to be vomited up with apparently almost no hit points left and jump through the portal while flicking off the Kraken as. Still uh, words, badass. And that was where we left off. So, <clears throat> before we get into this. Wait, what? There's a before. <clears throat> Vax. Oh. You! No. <laughs> bastard. As you feel the cold waters rush around you and your vision go dark, even as the unconsciousness takes you, your vision narrows and tunnels until it's just nothing. And while you were floating before, the cold temperature begins to become warm. It's a familiar warmth. And as opposed to being in water, there is no resistance. You're just in a dark space. You can look down and you can now see your hands. And you recall and you remember this. You've been here before. This is very reminiscent of your first journey into the blood pool, your first true communion with the Raven Queen. And the moment you make that realization, as you're looking at your hands, you watch as something dull and white arises from the darkness below you, and you look down and see the massive porcelain mask of the Raven Queen emerge from the shadows, tendrils of darkness just kind of spilling off at the, or- the edges and the corners. As you watch the stone face of the Raven Queen rise up to meet yours, what seemed immense suddenly seems small. And as the shadow pulls away, you can see the tumbles of jet black hair falling past the shoulders, the long raven feather woven uh, gathers and then vanishes into the impossible darkness behind her. The hands just kind of reach out and take you by the side to the head. And you hear the voice, once again emanating, sourceless, ringing from all around you. It says, my champion. It seems you've stepped to return to me. But what is your destined thread to be? Grog, as you come jumping through the portal and turn to flick off the crack, and you watch as one of its tendrils begins to, to one of its final tentacles that's still there pulls through and begins to try and grab one of the sides of the uh, the rock lodestone uh, pillars. The other guardians, uh, half morfolk, half various uh, individuals, rush forward and begin just stabbing at it as it begins to get its beak <laughs> snapping right at the the interior of this portal. You see it now starting to. Flex and the energy beginning to pulse as it's almost trying to force its way through a much smaller opening. Percival, Grog, Terrian, what are you guys doing? Oh, oh shit! We have to do stuff. Oh shit! I'm still, I'm still wet as a, I'm, I'm still underwater. You're, y'all are still underwater. Yes. Does this happen a lot? <laughs> the, guard, <laughs> the guardians right now are just shouting and screaming and stabbing at the ah! one tentacle. Like a lot of that is a lot of just yeah. open mouth, like ah! Yeah, they're like, ah, t- quick, push it back. They're all stabbing at it. The one, torn, t- the one tentacle finally like, snaps and withdraws inside. We could just go. We could just leave. We could the, just, uh, just fine. The this mouth pulls back, and now just the, the whole body shifts over, and you see the one giant eye from oh, one side I of the crack and come yeah, peering through. Noise. I'm dragging Tyrion, and you, if I can drag you as well, I'm just like, we're walking away. No, 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 eyeball soft. Let me yeah. throw one more time at the eyeball. Yeah. Yeah, I throw the hammer at the eyeball. Okay, go ahead and make an attack. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, Reckless. Uh, reckless. Okay, so you had disadvantage underwater, but so it's one roll. Oh, balls. Twenty-three. That'll hit. Nice. 
Oh. Roll damage. <clears throat> oh, I meant two handed. Oh, no, I'm throwing it. You're so throwing it's, it. It's eight. There it is. This connector is a little wonky. 20, one points of damage. I'm still enlarged, right? You are, yes. 25 points of damage. 25. Whack! As you release the hammer, it kind of, it goes Thor style, just head first, piercing through the water and into the open eye of the crack as it slams shut. You hear the as it reels back and the voice kind of pierces through the rift towards you and most of the people in the vicinity one more time saying, oh, I'm coming soon enough. And as it pulls back, the uh, the remainder of the guardians go ahead and reach over, each putting hands on the lodestones and shift them slightly in place. And you watch as the rift kind of crackles and then doesn't slam entirely shut, but the image you had of the water elemental plane suddenly grows a little more uh, opaque and difficult to make out the discerning details. And I managed to. Yeah, your hammer does return. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all give something every once in a while. So, um, as you carrying the. Uh, which you were. He resuscitated me, I believe. Yes. I have six points. Yes. So, <laughs> conscious. Horribly beaten, it seems that the Kraken has been beaten back and currently the, the load zones are utilized to, to keep the rift in check. Uh, you're uncertain as to whether or not the uh, the threat of the Kraken was an idle threat or whatever else was playing, but regardless, that's the least of your did, worries. Did we all hear it? Uh, y- hear what? You The Kraken. Because he mind speaks, oh. right? It would have been. He brain talks. It would have been primarily to you, Grog, and some of the other guardians nearby. Okay. Mm. That's good. Well, um, he. Uh, was not happy in the end there, <laughs> but he recognized true power, and he was sorry to see us go. <laughs> as soon as, as soon as the, uh, as you've had this conversation, um, you uh, turn and look to the left and you see Durand there, who is waiting, he goes, wait, where's the rest of them? Where's where? the rest, where's Caelith? They, uh, they, uh, they disappeared. They, 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 they went away. Disappear. Well, let's hope that they know where they're going, at the very least. Any yeah. idea where they went? I, uh, can, we, can we breathe some air? Oh, yeah, Please. Right, follow me, follow me. And he starts leading the, uh, <laughs> the, the swimming uh, cavalcade of individuals that are leading you up to the top of Vestra, back up through the airy of Torrent, through the various tubes and tunnels of the reef that leads towards the surface of the Osmond Sea. Simultaneously, Keyleth, Vex, and the lifeless body of Vax, you apparate roughly 10 feet above the surface of the water on the outskirts of Vestra, tumble a bit and splash into the foot, foot and a half shallow waters on the outskirts. As you all kind of get up for a minute and kind of think about your circumstance, Vex, you look down and you see your brother there, kind of face down in the waters, floating. I flip him over and look at him. Vex! Vex, wake up! Come on, come on, we have to get him out of this environment, come on. Is there a cleric on the island? Yes. Um, I'm, I'm, but before I do anything, I am going to throw up a skyrite above the city. I start dragging his body. And it, it says, help cleric. That works. Look at the idea. Um, hold on to him. Get on. I'm going to turn into my giant raven form again. How big is that? It's like the giant eagle form. I just kind of modify it for style. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so using the stats of a giant eagle, Good. but you're going into a yeah. raven type form. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Black feathers. Good. That coolness. Yeah. Yeah, it's all about branding. Yeah, 100%. Yep. Okay. Darkest time. Um, and what are you doing? Gotta be on message. Where okay. are we going? <clears throat> I fly off towards the center of the city, towards where the entrance to the portal was, because I'm assuming there would be sages and clerics waiting there. Well, the, uh, the portal's beneath the city. I know, but rift. there is like there, a... There is the central chamber in the middle of the city, which is where it seemed, uh, the base of where the, the social gathering seemed to occur, and the centerpiece was where um, Yuvenda and many of the other Keepers I, of the city seem to frequent. I'll head there. Okay. So you you watch as the giant raven oh takes no, off. Oh no! I'm holding onto a 
right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're holding there's, on to her. She's holding on to him. Okay, you're I, right I, I got in you. There. Okay, so yeah. you climb onto the back of the giant raven, clutching your brother in one arm, and as the wings pick up, you kind of use all the might that you have to just hold on. Um, you're used to flying under your own power, usually not somebody else's. Um, but as the wings take off, the sea breeze thankfully is not too heavy that day. And as you coast in, coming down, kind of dodging between the various buildings and heading towards the central uh, risen chamber, you can watch as the on the, the upper kind of third tier level of this, there's a single uh, chamber that is open and the outside wall is a series of pillars that makes up the structure. On the inside, you can see it dips down into three different uh, kind of sunken platforms, and in the center there, there are a handful of small statues, there's incense being burned, and what looks to be a small altar of some kind. Um, there are four figures there inside, all dressed in similar kind of blues and greens, aquas and whites. Uh, most of them are just long robes uh, with uh, dangling, Shell-based jewelry uh, and various, you know, smoothed-off stones that have been found, you know, tossed and, and rounded by the elements through the years. Um, and in the center of the chamber, in the process of lighting a few of these kind of, I'm not quite sure what the material is, but they appear to be candles. As these are being lit like candles, you see um, uh, Uvenda is walking with her staff, kind of taking this this long burning tube and is currently setting them alight as you approach. As the wings, the rain begin to like prepare for landing, the wind kicks up uh, in in front, and you see some of the other guardians kind of put their arm up and look up curiously. Some of them reaching back and uh, preparing for whatever may be there. Um, Yuvenda's voice, however, rings out across the center of this chamber and says, "Stop! Stop! I know this one who approaches." And as they all slowly back up, Yuvenda kind of stumbles upward. Sets aside her small uh, hand-based wick to one of her servants and approaches the raven as you begin to slink off the side of the bird. Please, are there any clerics here? We we, we do have some here of a uh, healing-based nature. Yes. What do you? Has he been hurt? He's he's dead. She slowly approaches and kind of reaches over and puts her hand on the forehead of Vax's corpse. Kind of runs with them along the, the cold skin. Indeed. And the Kraken claims another. No. No, he won't claim him. What can we do? Uh, uh, the power that is at our disposal could perhaps bring him back, though his form may be different than you recall. I uh, drop my form. All right, the feathers <laughs> scatter off as Keyleth has now returned to her half-elf image. Do you have means of traveling quickly? We have a friend who's a cleric. Can you get us to her there and back quickly? Or someone who can tree stride me there and bring her back. I'm exhausted, or else I would do it myself. Uh. Please. Please. I have. I have not a means of travel, but we could reach out to someone. Uh, yeah, yeah. He... All right, and she walks back to the altar, and you can see where there are a series of these statues that are kind of, there's four of them in the center, and there's one large statue in the center. And the center statue, it looks almost like long, petrified reef. It, it's white, it's porous. It looks like uh, like the, the long, uh, long dead reef, but it seems to swirl into tree-like shape. It's this weird kind of merging of sea and forest-based imagery, and it's each Various portion of the tree outstretches. You see various baubles are hanging from it. You see stones, necklaces, notes. Uh, Yuvenna kind of sets her staff to the side, and her small, kind of slightly arched form begins to slowly crawl up the side of the tree. And it looks a bit physically arduous for her, but nobody offers to help. You see, this is something that she's done often, and is kind of part of her job as the guardian here, investor of the street. She does this. I come over the earpiece, and I say, Grog, Percy, quick, get, get back up to the central tower, quick. How do we even know they're alive? I'm trusting that they are. 
Uh, the distance of the earpiece, you can hear them, yes. We're on our way. Oh, thank God, thank God. Is everyone still alive down there? Yeah, barely, yes, for the moment. Vax is down, so, um, hurry? We're, we're, we're on our way. Uh, as you're finishing this statement, you watch as uh, Yvenda's climbing down with one hand and has something cradled in her left arm, and she's like, kind of, <coughs> almost like slips for a minute and sets herself down back on both of her feet and kind of rips her lower back. <sighs> You'll get there one day. Please hurry. And she unfurls her arm, and you can see there's a conch shell. A small conch shell, but a conch shell. And she goes, whoever you're wishing to speak to, think of them and whisper it into the shell. <clears throat> Pike? Pike, if you can hear me, we need you now. In Vesra, please, it's Vax. How do we know if it worked? Yeah. Second that statement. She'll hear you. It's up to her whether or not she can act. And she hands the conch over to one of the assistants, takes her staff back up. Now, we offer the service still. Should you not hear anything, we are more than willing to try and restore him to That's whatever form we can. How much time does... How long is too long? I don't want to wait too long. Let's just wait a little while longer and see if we hear anything from Pike. She's... She's very smart. She'll hear us. Brushing um, his hair off of his face. While she does that, I start gathering the feathers and start laying them out as a bed around Vax and preparing the station. Okay, so the, 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 the scattered remnants of your transformation, the raven feathers that were kind of sh shunted from your form, you begin to form a sort of bed-like place for, to set his body on. Okay, while you guys are doing that, um, Durin finally breaks the surface of the water where you were originally brought down into the, uh, the area of Torrent, and after you all hit the surface and breathe out, the, um, the bright midday sun is coming down, the smell of you know, sea air hits you, um, you hear the distant calling of various ocean shorebirds, and uh, it's, a, it's a welcome change of pace in the murky depths of the water elemental plane you've been facing for the past few moments. Um, as soon as you emerge, Durin kind of steps up into the sand, turns around, ugh, shakes, and kind of rustles his hair off. All right. Well, that's the end of my watch. I don't know what to do. Um, Could you point us in the direction of where your healers would be? Uh, for healers, and he points over to the large uh, ascending central structure in Vesra, the one above where you guys had dinner the night before. He says, well, that's your best bet there. So you've earned this at least. You can have me more than I do. I spend most of my time in the outskirts, so uh, or down below. Right. Thank you for watching our backs in there. That was real heavy, but we have to be leaving you now. Oh, understood. Yeah. Well, um, hope everything's okay. And he gives you like a, a nod and steps over to the side and just watches you guys go as he goes and retrieves one of his uh, one of his ray runner, uh sailing. Uh, sailing boards and just kind of watches with a, a look of intensity and worry in his brow as his kind of dark dwarven complexion vanishes in the distance, you guys approaching, rushing in towards the center of the city. As you begin to approach, you watch as uh, Doty, who's been kind of waiting patiently off to the side, kind of <laughs> comes up to you and is holding the book out and starts just thumbing through page after page after page. Uh, uh, yes, yes, Doty, thank you. I'll, I'll review this all later. How many pages did you fill? It goes past about 25 different pages in very, very tiny script that goes into detail about uh, the tides going in uh, by you know every small, each person that went in and out of the water, anything he saw in the further distance, various birds from the sky. He does have a few spatterings of uh, white uh, bird excrement across the top sure of his he armor. Does. Sure he does. Um, it seems as proud as an, as an automaton could. Very well done, Doty. Thank you. I'll have much more to write tonight, so save some energy for that. 
Will you, uh, will you carry me? Sweeps you up in a <laughs> in a full on <sighs> princess carry, oh my and begins oh. begins running after Percival and Grog <laughs> towards the center of Vesra. <laughs> you guys reach the base of this, and you have you know there's there's all the kind of open uh, stone pavilions where the central gathering areas. You can now see people are starting to look up curiously, coming out of their various homes and places, noticing all this commotion happening up in the top of the temple. Uh, you. Watch as there is a uh, spattering of dark feathers up up the top, and you guys begin to ascend one of the two spiral staircases that ascends to the upper level of the temple. Uh, eventually, you guys come to the surface. You're immediately greeted by one of the guards who's on guard with currently with one of their spears, and upon recognizing you, kind of steps aside and lets you in. And that's where you guys watch as uh, Keyleth and Vex are laying Vax down onto a kind of makeshift bed of black feathers. What? Do I, am I there? Yeah. You're there. Okay. You're still in Dodie's arms. Dodie down. <sighs> what happened? What's what's going on? Is is he is he dead? Yeah. This is what happens when you adventure. Can you live from it? Oh God. She'll dead. come. She'll come. Who? Are there other options? I'm waiting for Pike. She'll come. Are there other options? Pike will come. There are other options. But they're not good enough. Pike will come. What? I don't care what he looks like, I just want him back. Pike will come. I don't want to do this without Pike. She'll come. You've ended at this point to starting to gather some of the servants and starting to take down certain uh, baubles and trinkets from the tree branches and setting them in a vicinity around, and she does so, she's like, these represent protection of the waves. Um, they take some you know, small salts and kind of scatter them around. There's, they're doing the best they can from a ceremonial standpoint to at least prepare a space. Um, about 15 tense moments pass as you all look out to the horizon. Uh, the sun now moving past its zenith and pushing into the afternoon portion of the day. Um, the air is growing a little more hot. You find both the nerves, the stress, uh, and the temperature of the room, uh, all of the, the light from the sun being reflected off of the white stone, causing this kind of heated element to the interior, and you instinctually begin to sweat, and it's getting slightly uncomfortable. There is what sounds like a distant rumble of thunder. <laughs> Where's it coming from? You're not sure. It just sort of seemed is anybody, directionless. Is anybody else startled by it? Uh, you guys all notice each other kind of reacting to the sound, and suddenly it happens again, but this time much closer. Is this normal? What's happening? Juventus looking a bit awkwardly into the air. Um, normal, no. But let us be cautious. As she take, takes her staff, her little elderly gnomish form kind of clutching it in front of her in a defensive standpoint. Don't let anything harm him. Yeah. I'm run to my, I'm going to run to my room and get my things. Okay. Have we, have we had, we have not had anything vaguely resembling a short rest at this point. No, 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 okay. it's happened very rapidly. Running you've had, you've, the rest has been the 15 minutes of kind of waiting to hear anything happen. As, as soon as you start darting to leave, Percival, that rolling thunder sound hits with a small thunder crack. <laughs> right in the room is a flash of light. There's a spiral burst of what looks like white orange flame, and there you see drop from about 10 feet in the air the golden astral form of Pike with her extended Saren Ray wings that slowly retract and vanish from the form. As your gnomish friend kind of looks up, her, her mostly corporeal form Eyes wide, glancing up at the rest of you. Actually, come in. Yeah. <laughs> I know already, right? As Pike, Ashley Johnson. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I wish it were better circumstances. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So, Pike, the. The message came to you, and you immediately went to a frenzy. You were in the process of uh, carrying a bunch of food along with other uh, volunteers within Iman, getting it to some of the folks that lost their homes. And when the 
when the voice of Keyleth hit your ears, you immediately dropped what you were holding. You found somebody to help to continue to lead this effort, immediately rushed off to find the nearest temple of Saren Ray in Iman, which still stands, slightly damaged, but it's still one of the buildings of the temple district that's, that's fine. Um, there, you sat in quiet prayer for a number of minutes, just imploring to Saren Ray to offer you some sort of guidance or way, and you felt something around you shift, like a push. Someone just kind of pushed you in the shoulders. And as your eyes opened, you weren't in the temple anymore. You were above a floor in a brighter, sunlit, unfamiliar place. And as you landed and caught yourself, you could see you are in your astral form, much like in the Whitestone experience. Um, and you turn around and see surrounding you in the center of this kind of open air uh, chamber in the depths, or in, in the center of this expansive ocean, uh, your friends, their eyes locking to you with a look of a sudden joy and despair, mingled. Oh, thanks, Aaron Ray. You heard. And I just run up and was going to give her a hug and then pat her astral form. Kind <laughs> of hug her. Hi. Pike, we need your help. Okay. Pax, what's happening? It. Can you it's still Max. do? Can you still do some sort of resurrection? Yes. From I, here? Yeah. I think I can. I think I can. I mean, I will try. Okay. How is this gonna work with him and the Raven Queen? What do you know, Vex? Do you know anything? I know nothing. Do you know anything, Pike? I. I don't know. I've never done anything quite like this before with, I mean, most of the time when there, you guys have been there for resurrections, I don't know. I don't know. We just have to try. Is there anything on his armor? Like something we should be looking for? Like a tab or a button or a, <laughs> no? I look for any sort of message from the Raven Queen on his armor. Make an investigation check. That's good. Uh, 20, what's five plus seven? 32. 30. No, 20, 22. 20, oh, I thought you said oh, 22. 22. Um, I mean, they're, they're most of the the runic symbols and designs on here aren't formulated in a sentence structure or a language. You do see the roots of them. Some of them are, are draconic in, in root, but they've been changed as part of the enchantment of the armor. However, you you do find like a small uh, kind of crumpled note on the inside of the armor. Can I pull it out? Yeah. What is it? It's up to you. Oh, I'm gonna open it. Okay. Do you want to tell her what's going on? Oh, you want me to tell her? <laughs> or uh, it, it just has your name on it. My. And it says, uh, "Take these wings and fly." No. No. I just put it back in the armor. Okay. There's nothing. Let's go get him. Okay. Can we start? Yes. He's been here for a while. I'm sorry to bring you into this like. No, no, no. So it's quickly, okay. Pike. I would rather be here, and I'm glad that you guys called me. Yeah. Okay. So because you're in your astral form, you don't have the reagents with you. However, reagents can be provided by the party, and you can kind of rummage through, and you you require uh, a diamond of at least 500 gold piece worth, which you have at disposal. So mark that off in the bag of holding on the gold amount there. Um, Yuvenda has already done a very good job of prepping the space for a ritual, not quite like the one you're used to, but a similar variation, hers being druidic-based magic. Um, but you work with them over the next hour or so to take elements they've already prepared and kind of alter it to fit the ritual style that you're used to formulating and casting. Uh, as you finish preparation and your focus, uh, clutching onto your holy symbol around your chest, you feel uh, the warmth of Saren Ray that brought you here begin to swell around her. And you guys watch as, as the ritual continues, 
uh, Pike's form begins to just emit more and more light. The interior of this temple, which is largely shaded by the uh, the roof of the temple, other than the sunlight coming in from the open uh, walls of it, the whole interior begins to just grow brighter from Pike's presence as the uh, incantation begins to slowly drift from your lips and the magic begins to flare. Um, the circle that was drawn around the body, the three parts of it, the the, uh, the tricorder section of this, this glyph uh, awaits who wants to bring the first offering to the ritual. The first I'll do it. Attempt to bring. I'll do it. Um. Um. I kneel down next to him and I take the feathers from behind my ear and I start braiding them into his hair. And I say, "You were always better at this than I was." But you gave me these feathers in one of my darkest hours to remind me of the beauty in the world. So I'm giving them back to you now because you take the beauty with you. We've done this so many times. We've brought so many of us back that this feels different, right? I feel as if I'm not speaking to Vats. I feel as if I'm speaking directly to her. Speak to him. No. No, he's at her sight, but it's being filtered through the Raven Queen. So these are my words to her. I'm here today because of a bargain my brother made with you, so I know you like to make deals as much as I do. He traded his life. He became your champion and you spared mine. And what a striking champion he is. Long dark hair and a strong lithe figure soaring over the land in raven feathers and a dark vestige. He said pious in your honor, set soul after soul to you. He would be ashamed to give that up. Especially now. And I remember the book that I read. Especially now, as Orcus builds his forces against you. The demon prince of the undead seeks to claim your throne. You know this as well as I. We just recently killed one of his loyal servants in the Underdark, before my brother ever came to your service. Imagine what he could do now. So this is the deal I make with you. You send him back. Allow my brother to come home, and we will seek out Orcus. I will track him down, I will hunt him in whatever pit he resides. And we will destroy your enemy once and for all. What say you? Make a persuasion check. Twenty-five. Okay. The minute the words, what say you, leave your lips, one third of the glyph <laughs> vibrates to life. Where the, uh, the gold and the light of Saren Ray's power that the glyph initially emanates, the light as it brightens becomes a purplish blue hue. So, who wishes to be the next offering? Um, I go up to him, 
and I prop up his back and kind of set him up against my chest and whisper into his ear. Say, I know you can hear me. I know you're still in there. And I'm sure she can hear me too. But your sister is right. You've held up to your promise to her. And you've made a promise to me. We have to settle down, live happily together, remember? You promised me, Vesra. So. I want to give you a little bit of light to follow in the darkness. And I find the scar on his back of my handprint. And I find it and I cast daylight into his back, into the handprint, and say, and besides, you know I'm in love with you, right? Roll d20 and add your wisdom. Twenty total. Twenty total. Yeah. As the daylight spell brightens, and you, your instinct is to close your eyes, but you push against it, and you know this will temporarily burn to your retinas, but you still holding that still, whispering okay. into him. You can feel not just the tears of your emotion, but the instinctual pain of the blinding light piercing the inside of your eyes, but you hold strong as you whisper to him, and as the final uh, word leaves your lips, the second portion of the glyph grows a light and then transitions to that same purple-blue color at which point the daylight spell diminishes in a way that you weren't expecting. As opposed to being this bright, glowing, blasting beacon, it shrinks down to a small, condensed, gentle glow. And you're afraid to move your hand. And you don't. Okay. There's the last offering. Uh, do you think I, I should... Do you, Oh, no? <laughs> All right. You will? Yeah. All right. I'll go, him. I'll go over to Vax. Is he on a raised platform? Uh, no, actually, he's on the ground in a bed of black feathers and currently is propped up against Keyleth's chest. She's sitting behind him, so he's kind of like leaning back against her. She has her hand against his back. I'll stand over him. I told you before. No one kills you but me. And I think back to being in Percy's workshop at Grayskull Keep. And I say, I love you too. And I reach back and I slap the Ever loving fucking shit out of his dead face. <laughs> Make an intimidation check. <laughs> <coughs> Adding your strength, of course. Oh, Jesus. 22. 22, okay. <laughs> Keyleth, it, it knocks him out of your grasp. The impact is so hard. I just keep my hand, keep my hand. Just come on. 
uh, the ball just kind of poof onto the side. You're like, oh god, you kind of pick it back up. Oh shit. I I just let out a. (laughs) 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 The third and final portion of the circular glyph alights and then transitions to that purplish blue glow. The entire circle complete. Oh, that one on the face. Oh god, oh god, Jesus. Get there, get that one. Why is he taking a picture again? He always takes a picture, he always takes a picture. It's a thing. Oh, fucking hell. The glyphs go dark, and so does the light of the outside. The entire central chamber goes dark, the light being crushed and squeezed from the vicinity. You watch as the air gets cold and a slight breeze picks up. And in the darkness around you, surrounding the lifeless body, of Vax, all you see is your family and darkness. And there's a glowing little thread, a bead in the sternum of Vax's lifeless corpse. And you watch as a hand suddenly appears from out of the darkness and reaches down and grasps the thread. And emerging from the darkness, you all see for the first time the white porcelain masked face of the Raven Queen as she tugs on this small bead you watch as a bright white thread begins to be drawn from the center of his chest and as it does he lifts up like a puppet just limply dangling from it he's lifted out of your grasp and Keel if you instinctually try and reach for him but this spectacle is you find yourself unable to move, whether it be by some other power or just the sheer awe of some sort of a presence here. As he's dangled up on this thread, she stops and holds him there. The mask kind of looks past all of you, and without the mouth moving, a voice fills your minds. My champion has learned much and has done great deeds in the service of fate. But there is still much to be done before my charge is complete in him. She releases the thread and he drifts down onto his feet, arms and head still limp slowly withdraws into his chest. We shall meet again. Come find me when the time is right, and I call to you to meet me beyond the divine gate. And as the mask withdraws into shadow and her form vanishes into darkness, suddenly the light comes back in. You all kind of close your eyes and blink it, and the vision's gone and you see all the servants around, still standing in the places they were, just looking intently at Vax, their kind of eyes still wide open, and you watch as the limp standing form there before you, the wings of black feathers slowly stretch out from his shoulders. And as they reach out and stretch and open, his head pulls back and (sighs) takes a breath of living air into his lungs, and his eyes blink open. How do you feel? sister's head and then I loop Keyleth and I just pulled them in. Where are we? 
Besra. You're alive. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that, that queen, she's pretty scary looking, huh? Yeah, that, that, that. <laughs> You're not kidding, that's, that's... That's pretty intense. Hi, Bex. Welcome to my last four months. Uh, hey, Pike. Hi, it's Pike's Pickle. Here. <laughs> Pike. <laughs> she did she it fixed again. you. <laughs> no. Can I f feel you? You, there is some physicality to her as her her divine form. Um, it it feels Pike feels like she's there and she can be like held and touched, but it's it's like it's like touching a a, a warm soft jello almost. <laughs> I go and I give him a big <laughs> hug, <laughs> a jelloy hug, or like a, like a big piece of cotton, like you know it it. It's softer and, and gives a bit. Kind of, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kinda. I take hold of the jello head. <laughs> and I press my head into it and say, Thank you, sister. Of course, Fax. Thank you. I give him a cotton candy kiss on his forehead. <laughs> oh, man. And she does so and she releases your head. Vax, you look at her face. And you look up, and just behind her, you see the mask there. And the voice comes to your head. None of you see this, just back and says, Soon, I'll call for your purpose in time. And it just fades, and you can now see the sea beyond the midday of Vesra now surrounding you. Oh. Hey, I feel like shit. Hey, welcome to the club. Yeah, yeah you punched your card. Yeah, all this left now is Keely. Which, by the way, yeah. your jaw is sore, and you're pretty sure you're missing a tooth. Oh. <laughs> Can't grow that back, bitch. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I walk over to Grog, and I try to reach my arms around him and fail. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fucker, come here. <laughs> yeah, welcome back. Don't be weird. Uh, <laughs> you've met me, right? That's yeah, true. Yeah. Glad you're not dead. Really glad you're not dead. Me too. Do you need to rest? Do you need to go lay down? I feel Don't like we all need to old. rest. Oh, yes. I'm good. I, talk, I turn to Yuvenda. Yeah, she's looking like, well, I'm glad to see that this was a success and that your friend could come and aid as well. Um, Grog, Terry. Yes. The lodestones. Oh. Oh, I pull mine oh, yes. as well. I hereby present to you a lodestone that I got at the bottom of the sea. Good, yeah, good, good job, good job, good job, good work. She kind of points over and the servants come up and collect the three of them and she goes, well, this is fine news. I was worried that we had a loss and perhaps this endeavor was incomplete. However, it appears that you've both survived the encounter with the current scourge to the Vesra's Rift, and you've completed your aramente, young Keyleth. There will be a celebration tonight before we send you back to Zephra, where you will be formally crowned by your father, Corin. Oh, that's happening tonight. Oh, wow, this stuff moves fast, yeah. Right, we'll, yeah. we'll celebrate this evening. Oh, you will return All right. oh, yeah. at your leisure. Oh, okay. But, um, and she kind of walks up to you and she can see the tears and she kind of reaches up with her, you know, wrinkled, uh, you know, sun-wrecked <laughs> elderly gnome skin 
mm. and reaches up and kind of rubs the tears from your face and goes, it's all right. You've done well. And I'm sorry. For what? For a lot of things. The Aramenta didn't used to be this dangerous. Mm. It's tradition, but our trial has changed. And while we grew confident in your confidence upon arrival, We should have been more attentive. This might not have happened. No. It was my negligence and proper planning that added to this. Well, that may be the lesson learned as this trial, but I think we've learned a lesson as well. And perhaps we need to adjust our trial, given the dangers of our Recent elemental guardian. I think the landscape of the world has changed a lot recently. And I think the Aramente should reflect that. So I would be honored to provide any insight to help. Well, come back. Come back once. You've returned to your people. And we come, the voice of the Tempest. Then. You may alter however you see fit. <laughs> anyway, glad you're awake. <laughs> Taps you in the head with the staff. Unconscious. <laughs> 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 Shit. <man. laughs> How many people lose their Ooh. lives on their Aramente? How many people complete it? Well, the Aramente is generally not a lethal experience. The Kraken only arrived this recent generation, and honestly, the only two who's had to take it with the Kraken's presence were Keyleth and her mother. Oh. What? I've been hoping to run a perception check through pretty much this entire conversation just to make sure she's being completely honest about everything. Inside check, you mean? Yeah, yeah I'd like an inside check. check. Yeah, 13. 13. Hard to read. Okay. She Lovely. seems to be at the front. What do you mean, then? Why? why? Why were we the only ones with the tools? Well, before the Kraken came to the Rift, it was simply an excursion to gather the lodestones amongst errant elementals and other mm. mild dangers within the plane. Sure. The Kraken had only been drawn to the rift. Recently. Recently. And unfortunately, uh, Vilia was the first to take the trial, with it residing just beyond our door. How many people did she have with her? Uh, she went in with five. None returned. Uh, two of which were our own. I'm sorry. That's the danger we face in these times. To exist amongst such ravaging elemental forces is a danger unto itself, but that is the call of the uh, Ashari by nature, is it not? Yes, it is. To safeguard the rest of civilization from these terrors. <clears throat> anyway, enough dourness. <laughs> Got rather cold here, and I think we'd use some Warming heat of the sun. Some food, and perhaps some rest for you. <laughs> Hits you again in the forehead. <laughs> Other two. I'm alive. Do you mind if we take a brief respite amongst ourselves before we catch up with you and join in the festivities? But of course, it's a, uh, and she kind of looks at the, at the sun. It's about time for my sailing, so I'll see you here in the next hour or two. And she goes and Two of her servants start leading her, you know, flanking her down the stairway. Kaitiake. She stops Yvonne. and turns, looking back at all of you, and gives like a deep bow. Kaitiake. <laughs> then he's making her way down the stairs. <sighs> group hug, guys, group hug! <laughs> 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 
Come here, Terry. You oh, too. Me too. You too, All Terry. Right. Come here. <laughs> okay. Come here. <laughs> sure, sure. This is natural. This is right. Who is that? Human contact. Get this to it. Who's so that? that guy. Who's that guy? What? what are you talking about? That's Terrian. Oh, come now. You recognize me, Terrian Darrington, the brave, the bold. We both fell in battle, so I know exactly how you feel right now. Oh, I've read your book. Well, I know you. <laughs> I didn't think it was published yet. Not, not quite yet, but <laughs> I'm sure people are already talking about it. How did you do, Terry? Um, well. Yeah, he did well. Terry. He did well. Uh, Doty, take this down. Which, uh, as you look over, Doty has been faced away from the entire ritual and been recording the various <laughs> weather <laughs> elements no. and the We just witnessed an amazing ritual. <laughs> did you not get any of that? Turns the book around and you can see it talks about cloud structures. It talks about a few children that were playing in the water below. <laughs> well, you are consistent. <sighs> I'll fill you in on the details of that later. But now, take this down. Plagued by an incompetent plan and ambushed by a surprise from a kraken, we nevertheless stayed true to ourselves and to our bravery, found the lodestones, and despite nearly dying, came back to tell the tale, proving ourselves as heroes of Vesra and to each other. I was aided by young Percival in my fight, abandoned by the antlers and the elves, <laughs> and by the end of the fight, it was just me and the big guy, duking it out. I blacked out for a moment, but before I did, I'm sure he saw my bravery and was impressed. That's why he dragged me to safety and presented me to Percival for healing. That's you, enough for you now. You forgot to mention the part where you vomited and blew our cover. Oh, that's oh. right, you did do that. <laughs> it's, Thank you. it's not, uh, it's, this is the abridged, mm. I don't want to bore the readers with right. too much detail. It's so weird, I totally remember like, Walking past you and trying to leave. Somehow I got to the uh, to the rift door and I didn't get there on my own. So thank you, thank you, big guy, for dragging me there. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> Pike. Oh. Have I? I don't know. We... What my memory is not. Rec uh, who are you? Terry and Darrington. <laughs> we Did we passed we... briefly in Whitestone. Briefly, yes. Yes. I didn't realize you were still with my family. Uh, I'll I'll switch to gnome. Oh, it's fine. Uh, and I can... say, uh, oh, you're you're friendly with these people as well. Ah, uh, yes. They've taken me in, and they're showing me the ropes of adventure. And uh, we've already done quite a lot. Uh, we were on a boat that was attacked. Oh, wow. <laughs> and we almost died, but I, I destroyed the beast that was attacking us with a bit of magic. How did you destroy it? Do tell me. I have a lot of tricks, uh, one, uh, magical things that I, I think that you might even understand, because it seems that you are a magic user yourself. I dabble. <laughs> uh, the resurrection thing that you just did was amazing. I've never seen anything like it, and it was quite, uh, quite astounding for someone who's not not really here. Hello. <laughs> does actually hit oh, the sides sorry, of her face. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> and they're speaking this whole time in gnome. Yeah. So yeah. you're more like. How? By the way, how is my accent? I haven't had a chance to practice gnome in, on a, on an actual gnome in a long, long time since it's I was terrible. a boy. It's terrible. Oh. But <laughs> it's nice to be able to to speak it. I apologize profusely uh, for butchering your language. I, I learned it by books, and I, I've only, as I said, I've only had a chance to, to speak it once before to, to a gnome who uh, visited my, uh, my family's estate a long time ago. And oh. All gnomes know each other, so who, is, who was it? <laughs> I didn't catch the, the fellow's name. It was a fellow, that narrows it down. Well, he was part, he was, uh, he was part of a performing troupe that my father hired to, uh, to entertain us on New Year's Eve. And uh, they came in, stayed a few days. No, I, uh, I remember quite vividly, though, that uh, they left in a hurry. Um, because, hold on. Uh, 
something went on with one of the members of the troupe and my father's handmaiden, and he was very upset with it, and he chased them all off in the morning, and I didn't get to continue practicing with him. All I know is my father was so upset, something happened in his room, he had to burn his bed sheets, and it was, uh, I think he got a new bed. I, I don't know quite what happened, but it was, it was quite a, a dramatic thing. Uh, I was only about 12 or 13 at the time. That sounds like somebody that I would love tremendously. <laughs> well, he had a, he had a sharp wit to him, and uh, not very attractive young man, but. He sounds very familiar. Like I said, us gnomes do know each other. That's amazing. Yeah. Really. And is it true that you live hundreds of years and. and Thousands, uh, even. Is, oh. Thousands. I, I was missing It's something you should know. I, yes, I should. <laughs> if you need to know anything, you should always ask me. I will. I, I will tell you all I the will. truths. I was planning on doing at least, <laughs> at least one chapter in my book about the smaller races, and uh, that would be an excellent, oh uh, an excellent fitting uh, <laughs> addendum. Well. Yeah. <laughs> well. Yeah. You are just delightful. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you are too. <laughs> Pleasure to make, make your acquaintance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can feel free, feel free to smoke this fool. It's fine. No, it's fine. He's a little bit of a twat, isn't he? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind him, though. All right. <clears throat> All right. So, um, as you guys take a little bit of time to go ahead and rest, recover, converse, and bask heal and up heal up a oh bit, take a God. short rest, <laughs> use your hit dice, get your abilities back that do come back from a short rest. We're gonna go ahead and take a quick break. Ooh. Be back here in a few minutes. Hold on to that backup character <laughs> until oh! later. Oh, until later, okay, okay. Case. I'm 98% relieved. Two percent bump. I know. Yeah, no, I know the feeling, man. I know. Uh, Who knows? It may, it may still come up. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? We don't know what that means. You can't say that shit. What? <laughs> Raven <laughs> Queen. Just kidding. <laughs> Raven King. <laughs> it's, it's almost like future challenges in the story might involve more death. I don't know. Uh -huh. I'm eating my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, a little disappointed, but. This works so well. we'll we'll heal up now. Yeah, heal up now. Uh, we're gonna take a break. We'll be here in a few minutes, guys. Much love. Uh, we have another giveaway from our friends at Wormwood tonight. Uh, I don't know what we're giving away because I was given dice a dice tower. Dice oh tower. snap! Boom. You guys are getting a full scale dice tower. What what is it? It is wood. It is made of wood and it is a dice tower. We're running it up to you. And it's gonna be free to the winner. Um, so come on over to the Twitch chat and get involved over the break. With the the word is Raven, R A V E N. Go ahead and yeah, you are Grog. Um, oh, box. oh snap! That is okay. not a dice tower. tower. It's a deck box. Sentinel box, yeah. which is still rad. They told me it was, a, but however, oh, that's cool. It has like a small magnetic for minis or, or dice if you want to. So that's pretty rad, actually. So anyway, this Bird's Eye Maple Sentinel deck box is going to go to whoever the winner is. <laughs> Type oh, Raven into the pretty. chat room of Twitch to win. We'll have an announcement when we come back. See you guys in a few minutes. Yeah, you You want to you, what do you mean you want to save dinosaurs? What is this? You lightning, you bloodthirsty death monster! Ah! Never quite get used to that sound. Hello, I'm Lisa Loeb, and I'm here to talk with you about dinosaurs. <laughs> You want to say you want to, what do you mean you want to save dinosaurs? What is this? You lightning, you bloodthirsty death monster! Ah! Never quite get used to that sound. Hello. April 29th is tabletop day. Just direct your Twitch to Geek and Sandre. All around the
the world will get people to play And play and play and play and play We're celebrating game designers and the players Cards and dice and role-playing slayers Teams or co-op, whatever your flavor Scream and shout, respect your neighbors So let's join forces all for one and one for all If you love games, come on We're international Save the date on your smart technology You guys okay? April 29th is tabletop day!
Welcome back, everyone, to Critical Role. Damn it. Um, first and foremost, uh, I want to once again mention that our fantastic fund lead to uh, Amandine is apparently already really close to its goal. Oh my god! Uh, so, so if you guys want to check out, it's fundly.com, F U N D L Y.com slash we dash love dash Amandine, A M A N D I N E. Um, if you can give anything, we're almost at the goal, which is awesome. Amazing. Um, also, we have the winner in chat. Thank you, Sam. Oh, you, how, 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 you, how are you feeling, buddy? How are you feeling? I know. We have the winner in chat of our uh, fantastic uh, deck box from our friends at Wormwood. It is Steve Tharia. Steve Tharia, you're the winner. We're going to go ahead and sign that uh, box and get it sent to you, that Sentinel box. Congratulations. We'll have more giveaways in future episodes. So if you didn't yeah. get it tonight, come back again and have another chance, which is awesome. All right. So, bringing us back in. You guys have had some time to recover, gather your thoughts, gra gather your uh, wits, and reflect on the recent near permanent loss of your champion of the Raven Queen, Vaxalan. Uh, you now currently sit wherever you'd like within the city of Vesra in preparation for an evening celebration. Is there anything you guys wish to do in the meantime? How much time has passed since uh, I got brought back up there? About an hour. About an hour? Yeah. A little over an hour? A little over an hour, I'd say. A little say. over an hour? Just sort of from resting, yeah. Just out of curiosity, <clears throat> did my wings shoot back in? Yes, they have they retracted, yeah. Where is everybody? <laughs> yeah, are we all together? You guys are all together, if you want to be, yeah. Can we be on the beach? 
Ooh, yeah. Sure. Yes. Is there a beach? Uh, well, there are there are portions where the sand kind of breaks the surface. A lot of it is you know maybe a foot, foot and a half below the water before you start hitting the reef and the uh, the you know the beach shelf drop off. Um, but there are places where the sand rises above, and there are patches where you see a lot of the kids kind of play around and leap off of. And um, there are beach elements closer to the islands on the outskirts of the city, uh, between the the actual islands themselves. So yeah, there are beaches. I'm 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 going to be crafting little seashell necklaces or hair hair bits for everybody. I've been working on a hair bit. I like it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Little. Like a like a hair bit or like a hair bit that goes like this. Ooh. Yeah, and like that, like that oh, with yeah, a yeah, with yeah. a little yeah. <gasps> oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know like what? It. Yeah, we. Yeah, it's, it's like we've had so this conversation. <laughs> making <laughs> making little bits for everybody. There you um. go. As you're working on that, Vax, you do notice in this time that you see one of your sister's feathers. It's kind of carefully braided into your hair. All of uh, there. I only oh. got two of them, and they're both in his hair. There you go. Both of her sister's feathers are braided oh. into your hair. Mm-hmm. Um. I. I have something for you all. I I have presents. <laughs> presents? Mm-hmm. What for? Well, um, I had Gilmore help me out with a little something for if and when I completed the Aramente as a thank you. So I got them from him before we left. Granite, in hindsight, I'm never holding on to presents ever again because we could all just die. Any day, but like we do. At least, like you do. Yeah, like, like you do. Um, but this time it worked out okay. Um, and I pull out all the necklaces. These are from the dragons we've collected. They're dragon tooth necklaces. And I had Gilmore enchant a very simple enchantment to each of them. So it won't, we won't have to focus or attune to it. Oh. If any one of us goes unconscious, unconscious. <laughs> We're with you. If any one of us goes unconscious. Don't sweat the details. Thank you. The rest of them will start beating a little heartbeat. That way we know if any one of us goes down, even if we can't see each other. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's wonderful. Yeah. It's a little morbid yeah. and wonderful at the same time. Oh, yeah. oh, I know, but I that's so wonderful. I figure we all go unconscious. So that's so often. thoughtful. Mm. Well, most of us do. Mm. Is totally that, had is this that... one made for Scanlan. Mm. Just hold on to it. it. I understand, and that's fine. I you think yeah. I should hold on to it. Yeah, just hold on to it. Yeah. Don't give it to him. But this here's is, uh, a flower, and I drew a craft him a flower. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a bummer! <laughs> oh, I feel I, like I, somebody we just got party invitations. It's like oh, I ran out. I, 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 <laughs> I make sure I make sure Terry gets a little seashell crown. So okay. thank you. This flower. I mean, you can. Uh, do you want to wear it? We do have to get him in here. Yes. As as you're staring at, at the flower and contemplating the awkwardness, you feel Percival slowly come up behind you and just put a little seashell crown on your head. Oh. Long may he reign. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Are we, is there anyone else Science around, by the way? I want to check. Are we being listened to? Is there anyone who can, within earshot, is make there anything? Check. You know, maybe I should go ahead and just give this to Terry. I can always um, have Gilmore make another one. 16? You can always get it back. I mean, if there are folks wandering around, and there are some people that are kind of just younger sad. folk, oh, okay. or, or people that are general denizens of Estra that are just excited that all of a sudden these people came in and apparently battled a kraken, and word has gotten around already that you know the here, Terry. What? Um, just um, you did you did good. You're giving this to me. You did good here today. You're giving this to me. At least for now, I can probably have an. I dropped to my knees. My lady, oh, I cannot oh. express to you what this means to be accepted as a full-fledged member of this team. We're going to try. I, I knew this day would come. I didn't think so soon, but it has not come. I suppose finding that lodestone and helping you on your acapate was oh. enough. <laughs> close my eyes to win over your good graces. I've watched you in these last few battles, and you have. Been powerful, okay, you, 
Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I wasn't done. <laughs> Powerful, uh, confident, and uh, enthralling. And I vow to use this to the betterment of our entire team, to, to make sure that none of us fall in battle. Not me, not Percy, not you, not either of the elves, not Short Stuff or the big guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so great. Thank, thank you. He doesn't know I'm Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. <coughs> Look what you did. I will cherish it yeah, always. All right, thank, you're welcome. Keyleth, you. you have just passed the final challenge of your Aramente. I think you're right. I wonder. As, I can't as you take put it, it on back and from first, him now. Uh, Dodie's hand ever. goes. Oh, I'll take it back. Oh, he's sketching me. Dodie begins sketching you. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Wait till I find the light. Find the light. Find the light. Right here. Right Trinket here. goes up and pees on Dodie's leg. <laughs> <laughs> Imagining a really simple etch a sketch drawing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to move, I'll break the pose. Oh, no trinket, warm. that's not a tree, that's a robot. Mm. Yeah. Oh dear. Mm. It'll come off, don't worry. Dodie does not seem mm. the least perturbed by it. Uh, Keyleth, I've been, I've been thinking. What do you think the Aramente is supposed to teach? I've been thinking about that a lot myself. I'm regretting that I hadn't, hadn't been thinking about it until today. Well, they don't really tell you much. They just tell you to go back, go out into the world and prove yourself a leader with no real definition on what they think a leader should be. Well, they tell you to go out, gather a group of friends, and then thrust yourself into a death-defying situation that is likely, likely to get people killed. That is one way you could phrase it, yes. I'm, and I don't mean to worry you, just be cautious. I don't, I have that nagging feeling and I'm hoping it's wrong, but I think it is possible that they feel you did not lose, you did not learn the lesson of the Aramente. Well, that'll be a discussion that I have with Corin, with my father. What if the lesson is loss? What if you're supposed to go down there and watch people that you love die? We're not barbaric, we're not, no one wants to lose anyone on an Aramente. The, the thing that defines the worst leader a people could have is a lack of empathy. Do you think I'm not empathetic? I think that they make sure their leaders might, I think it's possible, I don't, I'm nervous. I think it's possible that they make sure their leaders are empathetic by making sure they know pain. Percy, do you not think that we have experienced ample amount of pain and loss over the course of this? I do, I just hope that it was enough. I, I, I'm just, you know it's me. It's not a blood sacrifice, it's, it's it's a tradition, it's meant to show us the world, and yes, it's flawed, and I want to fix that. I, this is beautiful here, and I, I look forward to leaving. <laughs> and I'm very proud of you, but I, I will be on my guard, just in case. I don't think my traditions really vary that much from yours, which could still be perceived as old-fashioned, if you will. Every farm boy in Whitestone, once he's old enough to talk and work, names an animal, raises it and butchers it. You know, it's interesting, Percy. I've always looked at you and I as that opposites attract conundrum. As my best friend, mm. I feel like you are always the natural born leader who has been running away from it ever <laughs> since I met you. And I'm the one who's not as naturally gifted, but is racing towards it faster than I, I think I'm too cruel to lead. <sighs> oh. 
Regardless, speaking of which, oh boy, Grog. Yes? Uh, I have something to say. In a moment of panic, I may have influenced your decision to save Tarion from the Kraken. I instantly regretted it, not because of you, Tarion, I do apologize for that. I instantly regretted it. It was a poor decision. <laughs> I fully apologize, and if you wish to keep my glasses, I totally understand. And at the very least, if I have a swift punch in the face coming, I completely understand. I'm so sorry. And I wish I could say I would never do it again, but I honestly don't trust myself that much, but I am really, really sorry, and if anything had happened, I would have run in to save you as best I could. You look so, like, constipated right now. I think you're gonna punch me. <laughs> <laughs> How did you influence my decision? <laughs> it's, I don't know, sometimes I can just, I can just, be unnaturally convincing. Is that a bad thing? Yeah, uh, well, in the, in the wrong hands, which are my hands on occasion, I felt bad, I feel bad. I feel like I did, I was not a good, I feel like I made a poor de decision and put you in peril and subverted your free will. Does that make, no. <laughs> Small words. You do, Grog, recall, as you guys were swimming up to Vesra, and you were kind of following after the path that you thought, why did I save Tyrion? Yeah, why did I save Tyrion? <laughs> because, <laughs> because I'm a jerk. That's why you saved Tyrion, because I'm, 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 because I can be a bad friend. Mm. What, what does that have to do with me? Um, I just am trying to be honest with you, because I respect you, and I would hate for you to think that I, oh, I'm terrible at this. Are you all right, Percy? No, I'm not all right. I've made some bad decisions today, and I have terrible thoughts, and oh, I'm so tired. Terry. Yes, sir. Are you glad you're alive? Extremely. Well, there you go. How about we just say I owe you one? I owe you one? I owe you one. I thought you said I say I owe you one. No, well, you can say that too, but just know that, that I owe you one. I owe you what? I'd, How would that even work? We'd that just would be work, owing each other forever. I just <laughs> have some seashells and a skipping rock. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I feel better. That's I all leave. I needed. That's that all I needed. <laughs> I feel better. No worries. As walks away with the skipping rock. So okay. we're in the middle of uh, of all that serious mm -hmm. talk. I've pulled my sister off to the side and have cajoled her. <laughs> Into playing uh, airship, you know when I so we used to do this as kids. I lay on my back and I lift her up in the air yeah. with my feet holding her up. I love this. And game. I'm I'm kind of in pain, but I can kind of do it. How do you even have strength for this right now? I am ropey as fuck. <laughs> uh, we are almost even now. In uh, what? Well, we're twins, so you've died, I've died. <laughs> oh right, I thought you meant. <laughs> In size. No, no, no. Um, but you've died twice. <laughs> yes, so I have. You are more ambitious than I am. <laughs> <laughs> We've always known that. Yeah. You know, we really need a break. Yes, we um, do. I think we're going to hell soon, literally. Well, But we... maybe after that, maybe we could take a break. I don't know if that's going to happen, dear. I sort of made a promise to your queen. Could you hear it on the other side? I don't remember anything. When we were trying to bring you back, I kind of, sort of, and I come down off of his feet <laughs> and stand up. I kind of, sort of, promised her we would hunt down Orcus. We do recall hearing those, as she says this, you remember it. Now the various things that were said as the ritual kind of come into clarity, and you realize the immensity of the offer that was given. I mean, I was trying to get you back. I know that is really hard, and we probably are going to have a very hard time finding Orcus and killing him since he's like, you know, a <laughs> god, I think. But, um, hey, you're here now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. Hey, man, no judgment. It means you're just like me. Yeah, right? Stupid decisions to bring the people you love back to your side. Very stupid. Oh, what the fuck else are you going to do? Stupid to be a champion. Stupid to kill orcas. 
stupid all around. Did you give a timeline? No, no, no. I just kind of said we'd go and do it. So it could be, you know, uh, I just said we would do it. No, you know, in all seriousness, I have been waiting for something. I don't know what. But I'm not running towards it. <laughs> I think we'll get there. Yeah. Yeah. I have a feeling she pulls our fate strings anyway. She'll make sure we get there. Mine's connected to yours. Wherever you go, I go. <laughs> Unless it's, you know. I start to cry a little bit. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. I don't say anything. You hear what sounds like a whip crack of thunder as you glance over your shoulder and watch as Grog with the Titan Stone Knuckles skips a stone so hard <laughs> that it shatters into multiple pieces upon making contact with the water. Whoa! Oh, I'm happy that I saw that. That was, that was cool! That was awesome. Is that a record? Yeah. It may be. Probably. Wow. I write 10 on a sheet of paper and hold it up. Where'd you get that paper from? I have it in my bag. That's your bag, too. I think you just hit Whitestone. <laughs> I'm showing Pike the, 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 the jewelry I'm bringing back, so since I can't give it to you now, I'm just modeling it. It's, it's a little hand thing. It's got, it's got some <gasps> things. Percy, it's beautiful. <laughs> I want it now. I don't know if that will go well. Does it sink through slowly through the jello? I'll clean it off. As the afternoon comes to a close and the sun slowly sets in the distant uh, ocean horizon, the lights begin to brighten anew to usher in the evening scape of Vesra. A similar gathering of the people of Vesra that you uh, celebrated with the evening before comes to life, uh, even more vibrant and excited at the tale of an Aramente completed. Um, as this is transpiring, you guys are brought in, food is prepared. Uh, I'm in my fancy clothes, by the way. Okay, yeah, fair enough. You guys, for whatever you can. Um, as you guys, uh, oh, seashell bras. I'm in the Deathwalker's ward. <laughs> <laughs> With salt crusted on it. Yeah, yeah. still a little soggy and damp. Yeah. <laughs> As you guys are are uh, are getting ready and brought into this, and people beginning to come up and congratulate you, and you know, meet and like bring their kids up to kind of shake the hands of the future voice of the Tempest. Um, you watch as a group of figures appears in the outskirts of the light in this central meeting area. You glance over and watch as all of a sudden the nervousness kicks in and everyone kind of turns and looks as they're kind of dipping into the light. You see Captain Adela and the crew going, okay, so we've been waiting for quite a while and it looks like you're having a party without us. So, mind if we join in? Oh, yeah, 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 come on, and I... Told you. Poor. Toss a drink, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and the, re the rest drinks. of the crew comes in, of the, the drinks uh, out of his. Hmm? The prisoner. Is he still on board? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, we're leaving that fucker on the ship. We're not taking him here. <laughs> All right. So, everything went fine, I suppose? Peachy, peachy. Oh. Great. Right as Fantastic, rain. going back soon then, huh? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Great, first light of the morning. Let's get back. Are you in a rush? No, but, I mean, the longer we're here, the more time we spend out wandering amongst the reef with these people. <laughs> she kind of glances around, and as you look around, you do see a very sort of comparably bohemian lifestyle of Eyes wide water shot. Ashari. Yeah. Well, not, not, not quite that level. What's your definition of bohemian? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, 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 so much live in Los Feliz. Like, like, yeah, like Venice? Venice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, bitchy, yeah. It's very bitchy Venice Beach. beach. It's <laughs> like, like, like Labyrinth Muppets made, made like, like the creepy head <laughs> Labyrinth <laughs> Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so, I mean, you know, drinks are had, um, the party celebrates, and then eventually, um, uh, Uvenda kind of a begins to approach and everyone kind of gets quiet and she walks up towards you, Keyleth, and reaches out to take your hand, uh, or both of your hands with hers. 
<laughs> in completing the trial of the Water Ashari, I impart unto you now a gift. Something I, as far as I understand, have only been around long enough to learn. But seeing the strength that you hold, perhaps you can wield this as well. Okay. As she takes your hands, she folds them over each other and she encloses them in her tiny gnomish grasp. Close your eyes. As you close your eyes and you can hear the hush, people silencing each other around. Now the form of one who protects the elements is malleable. You can transcend this particular form and become the beasts of nature. You can become the creatures of the elements that we safeguard. However, those who've mastered the journey that you have, they can become so much more. Now walk with me, and she tugs on your hand. Keep your eyes closed, but walk with me. And you guys watch as she backs up and leads Keyleth out of the pavilion, out into the darkness in the center of the main uh, thoroughfare of Vesra. The crowd kind of slowly kind of wanders along if you guys want to shuffle with. She leads Keyleth out, eyes still closed, and as soon as people start closing in, she just and the guards kind of hold people back and leave a wide berth around. Now, Keyleth, you've encountered many beasts, many dangerous and powerful creatures from all walks of the plains. Pick one. What do you see in your mind? I think of the Garistro Yank. Imagine what it's like to be filled with strength, to be filled with the power. Envision the horns, the snarl, the barrel-like fists. And you guys watch as Keyleth's form suddenly begins to shift and grow. And where once was a half-elf Keyleth, you now see towering above this tiny gnome, eyes still close, a massive Goristro. No! Oh, well, that's disconcerting. <laughs> and everyone goes, oh! and as her hands leave yours, you feel something shift and change, and you hear the slightly more distant voice of Yvonne say, now open your eyes. And you look down. No! <laughs> that's less is she stuck like that? No, no, she's fine. This is under her control. Okay. She's fine. This incantation is yours. Now, be what you wish. Use these creatures. I turn into a beholder. You watch as all her body shifts and becomes a meaty mass with a singular eye and many eye stalks. And you watch as everyone takes two steps back. And you, you what, is what is you this? What is this? What the fuck? Are you serious? What is this? I'm a golden god. <laughs> Your shape is yours to change, Keyleth. I change into a uh, 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 adult dragon, a, a, a bronze dragon, adult bronze dragon. You watch as the the beholder that's looking around excitedly suddenly shifts and grows two large, uh, broad <laughs> wings. Claws emerge and the head extends. Oh dear, that but is like, really hot. That's really big. How? I do a victory lap. Oh, How is this possible? Can you like do the stuff they do? Can you, are you like, is she like a dragon for real? Does anybody? Yvonne turns to you as you're shouting this. Everyone's kind of watching her fly over. You can see the little bit of, of light that glows from the city occasionally reflect off the metallic underbody of the nice. dragon as it kind of circles overhead in the dark night sky. Yvonne turns to you and goes, Ah, yes. Don't worry. These forms are hers to control. I uh, turn and the brass dragons have like fire breath, right? Do they have fire uh, breath? I'm pretty lightning? sure. Lightning? No. Very frightening. I do uh, into the air. I just go. I'm going to zip real fast. See what happens. It doesn't hate me. 
You kill everyone on the ground. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is fire breath. Fire so, breath. whereas you you watch as she flies off, she shoots forth this burning hot, bright <laughs> jet of singular focused fire. Not a not a a you know a napalm level red dragon you know cone breath, but a singular focused beam of of burning fire. That just lights up all of Vesper around. You see the hundreds of the denizens around go, oh, as their faces glow against the dark sky around you. I feel far less nervous about this Orcus thing now. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's insane. Yvonne is just looking up and smiling, clasping her hands together. Who needs a fucking magic carpet now? Oh yeah, 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 yeah! I come back jet. down and I come down and I'm like, <laughs> no, no. can't you talk as a dragon? Can't dragons talk? Oh, that's right. I'm too used to V shape. <laughs> Which? Oh, so used to not being able to fuck <laughs> shit. Yeah, yes, drink. I'm already climbing up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, she can turn into a dragon, but she's, she's like, yeah. yeah. She's can just, I, if I touch her, she's like a dragon? Yeah. Like a dragon. yeah. yeah. You feel the down. hard scales across her hide. So I can talk. Yeah. I <laughs> got. Guys, check it out. Uh, I, I like the idea that it's just like your regular ass voice coming yeah. out of it. I'm like, oh, guys! Yeah, this, this, yeah, yeah, no, it just went so, it, so fern gully so quickly. Yeah. It's it's Keith's voice, very but it's very deeper, gully, yeah. it's resonating, oh. it kind of quakes the sand on the ground near her when she speaks. What is this? Like, this is amazing, Keith. This is. This is. We should have completed your aramente a lot sooner. Yeah. I, uh, uh, you you gonna go for a ride? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. I pick up the half elves. Ooh, hey, and Pike, hey. Pike wanted to go. Ted Pike. Let's go. Don't let the jello. Oh, There's always room for jello. Okay. As as the as the the tinier folk step onto the back of Keyleth's dragon, they take off into the sky. You watch as a bunch of the children now begin to try and line up. Now, and, and the parents are like, oh. I'm clearly moving ahead of them to the front of the fucking line. As Grog forces himself in the front of the line, like pulls a child and just pushes him back. Well, like like old school, just like yep. out of the way. And I totally spend the next hour giving. Joy rides to okay. anyone who and, wants and to. Okay, and yeah, mo <laughs> most of the folks of Vesra begin dragon to start rides. giving wow. into it and taking yeah. dragon rides from Keyleth <laughs> over the night sky. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Holy shit. I leveled That's pretty up. fucking sick. Yeah, and in fact, I'll go look at the logistics of this, but after that Kraken battle, most everybody leveled up on that. So, yeah. I'll, I'll send that out tonight via email to you guys. Sweet. So that just has shape change, right? You know, you have shape change as one of a possible ninth level spell. What is shape change? You can just yeah. become anything? It's I can a ninth change level spell. I can change into anything that's a challenge rating of my level or lower. Once? Wait. Or constantly? For an dragons hour. are your level? Adult an adult dragon, one, sorry. not an ancient. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Cool. Still, adult dragon is like it's right on par. Guys, sure. we've been playing this campaign for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was ever going to get here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can. It's for an hour, and I can keep shape. Like shape changing into different things for an hour. You can whip those beholder eyes at people. Yes, I can. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh! And you can do all the things that they can do. <laughs> is it at will, or is it a random roll for it's which like, eye does what? It's like beast shape, uh, so I keep my intellect, shit. my wisdom, and my charisma, but I take on their physical stats ah. and their abilities. And same thing, like you drop the shapes hit points, and then it reverts yeah. back to you. Yeah, you don't get legendary oh. actions <laughs> or layer actions, but you get all the rest of the abilities and physical attributes. Wow. I'd say that's pretty good. That, that that awesome. Strawberry, yeah. how about Rawberry? <laughs> <laughs> to oh, Springsteen. <laughs> Holy cow! So eventually, as you feel as you feel the spell begin to dissipate, the shape change coming to an end, you bring the last. Cluster of children and Grog, who's ridden now seven times. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, as the night draws to a close, as, as the spell fades, I just give Grog a big hug and just kind of cry in tears of joy into his chest for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, reverting back to your form. Um, the party comes to an end. Yvenda comes up to you as you come back to a good form and says, I'm proud of you. No. Truly. Return to your people, victorious. You achieved what your mother could not, and her memory lives on in you. Thank you. 
And she turns. That's it. Thanks. That's all. Good night. And she begins to walk off with her staff. You guys are able to rest for the evening. Mm. Prepare yourselves for the following day's journey, however you were set to be. So you get a little bit of it's a long rest back. So you get half of your uh, hit dice back. You uh, are healed to full, you get your spells. You're good. It was such a great party. <laughs> that was a good point. Oh, you man. have so much fun, yeah. yeah, I rode the dragon all night. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I see Percy really quirk. Are you still concerned? <laughs> yeah, well, yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Wouldn't be you. No. We're concerned. No, and thank you for, for not being. Somebody has to be all right. I mean, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. We wouldn't be here without you, or the others. You know that, right? I do. I can't do this alone, and I... To answer your question from yesterday, I think the problem of this Aramente so it shows you the components of what you need to be a leader. But being a leader could take a lifetime to master, if you even can master such a thing. So lots still to go. This isn't the end. I know. And I hope you stay with me. I right? will to the end. I need you. I need you too, but we're not all going to make it. Well, let's at least go home for now. Is that okay? Is that enough for now? It certainly is. I'm, right. I'm happy to try, but <laughs> things are only going to get more complicated. Congratulations, that's very <laughs> impressive. I feel like if once you can turn it into a dragon, things only get more complicated. <laughs> That's, yeah. I will thankfully never know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, after she left our room to go find him, um, I start to suit up, and I'm looking in a full-length mirror at the new fucking crack and beak gouges down the front of me, and I notice that uh, my two notes are out of place, so I'm gonna shove them back into the folds that they're supposed to be in. And spend a couple of minutes to button all the way up. And leave the room. Okay. Mm -hmm. can, I, can I find Terry? Yeah. Oh, good morning. No, oh, it's like real late, right? I don't know, is it? it you haven't quite gotten to bed yet, so oh. it's, it's late evening. <laughs> oh, good evening. <laughs> Jesus, that fight knocked you goofy, didn't it? <laughs> I have not been uh, that close to death ever before, but I feel like, in a way, I learned something from the experience. What? <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Tell me, I saw you up there fighting. Mm -hmm. You were brave yep. and strong. Yep. We were duking it out, you and me, till the very end of that fight, and uh, well, <laughs> as one as one seasoned warrior to another, mm -hmm. do you have any tips, any notes for me, any any thoughts to improve my warfare skills? Should I move more? Should I? Uh, think of cool one-liners to yell out as I as I hit my enemies. Oh yeah, that always helps, right? Someone like you, I would probably stay on like the outside. You got a little in the crunch zone, right? You see, you seem to have like a good range on your weapons. Well, yes, but my my rod is <clears throat> is best at close up action. Most rods I... are good close up, but you know, 
If you can stay on the outside with it, maybe you'll have better success. But I wanted to give you something. Oh. Yeah. It's like a last resort, right? Because you went like, and, you, and it was not good. No. So I want wasn't. to give you a magic egg. And I reach into the bag of holding, and I take out a basilisk egg that I have no fucking idea how old it is. <laughs> but it's in there, there are six it's of them. It's old. This uh -huh. egg is, is it? very, very special. Oh my god. You see it, it's about it's about this big <laughs> and uh, it, the outside of it has this very kind of uh, layered stone look to it almost like it like you know if when plates shift and you watch old sediment stone stick out and you can see the different types of stone layers uh, geologically it's that kind of a texture down the side of it it's like a dark gray almost blue color. This egg comes from a very ancient magical beast. If you will find yourself in a dire need, like in that last fight, yes, if yes. you break it and consume its contents, <laughs> you will be granted immense power. Really? Indeed. But only in times of great need. I trust I don't have to emphasize how important that is. Prague. Make a deception. Shit! <laughs> I'm so Come proud on, of you guys. However this goes, yes. I'm so proud of you. Fifteen. Make an insight check, Tim. Oh. That's game one. Eight. <laughs> 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 I have rolled somebody! <laughs> like your mind! <laughs> you used a mind This fist. is This is a mighty gift. Adding oh, it to no. my list. <laughs> Basilisk. I've Wait, never I don't know what so it proud. is. It's magical just an egg. It's, it's a magical egg. Magical egg of power <sighs> to be consumed. It's like a Kinder egg. There's Kinda, a yeah. inside. Except, yeah. except it's, it's full of sulfurous shit. shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's a I imagine that Pike and I have been introducing Pike to the whole crew since you like to sail so much. Yeah. Hey, crew. Yeah. yeah. Is, yep. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. Is. Doty, Doty, his Do robot around? Duty. Uh, the robot stays with him when he's told otherwise not to, so it's hanging with him. Um. If you're, we interest the crew, uh, I mean, they're they're all they're all your ilk. They're all you know salty, uh, sarcastic hey. folk. Captain Adela and you, could, you know, they're all kind of taken aback by your strangely not really physically their form. But after a bit of trading some tales about. You know, a few interesting at sea endeavors. Uh, you guys get along swimmingly, and yeah, it's 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 so it's, it's a fast friendship between you and Captain Adela. Fantastic. She's fucking cool. She seems rad. Yeah. So what are you doing? Um. Okay. I'm gonna go over to Terry. Okay, uh, Tyrion. Tyrion. After you granted this majestic egg, as you're walking back to your homestead, the glowing gnome approaches you. Oh, hello. Hello again. I have a request uh, of your robot, your doti. Your, am I saying this right? My personal manservant. Your personal manservant. Yes. Um, could he draw some things for me? Uh, in gnome, I say. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Absolutely, milady. Whatever you would request. You are a milady. We totally called it. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Um, and in common, I say back, thank you so much. Um, uh, Dodie, would you mind drawing portraits for me? Looks back to you, Tyrion. Do whatever the young lady asks. Pulls the uh, book out. Could you could you draw some portraits of this group? Of 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 Grog, of Vax and Vex, Keyleth and Percy. Just a little bit of a note here. He doesn't know who any of those people are. Okay. So the, the, the people that I point to, could you just draw each of them, please? Well, everyone's kind of scattered to the four winds right now. Shit. 
I'm there. I'll help you point them out to, <laughs> yeah. to okay. yeah, Vex is there. Okay. Yeah, you, you point out to where they're all staying. And I'll probably, yeah, they're probably walk over that yeah, yeah, way anyway. Yeah. When, you're, yeah. when yeah. you're all done, just bring them to me. Is there any Thank particular you style you'd like them to be drawn in? Just as realistic as possible. Realism. Realism. All right. And I say thank you in gnomish. Hmm. In gnome. I say you're welcome in gnome. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for it. Okay. All right. That's all. Um. <laughs> so, as you all go to rest for the evening, Pike, the the granted presence here through Saren Ray's will begins to withdraw her oh, no. strength through the divine gate to keep you in this uh, seemingly drained. You sense that you'll be returning back to Iman until you're retrieved by your allies here. Okay. So, you you'll only have a short time. Um, as the rest of you guys go to rest for the evening and you all go to sleep, um, Percy, Keyleth, Vax, Vex, uh, and Grog, I need you guys to roll perception checks. I got this. I'm just doing this all night. Yeah. Don't fuck me, Gil. Are oh, we going Gil? Yeah, don't fuck me, Gil. Oh, I didn't do it. That's not bad, that's not bad. You gotta try Gil. No, no, I'm, I'm going that one. That. Roll Gil. You don't get to negate I'm that negating one. it, roll Gil. 19. Oh. That's 29. Roll. No, I'm going with the, my first 22. one. You don't yeah. get to negate my roll. Oh, shit, he rolled three. I did not roll. <laughs> wow. I'm going with my first roll, because he's a jerk. All right, what's the first one? Uh, 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 27. Jerk. <laughs> okay. Sure. Your throughout, friends all rolled with Gil. Throughout, throughout the evening, Rolling with Gil. at some point in the night, Gil has his bummer. each of you individually wakes up in the wee hours as a sound rouses you from your slumber. As you glance over in one of the nearby open windowed walls, you see a large metallic man shape appear Whoa. and just start feverishly sketching while staring at you. <laughs> One by one by one by one. <laughs> he likes to watch. That was Terry's fucking automaton. Do, I'm so, not dreaming yet. I'm okay, not dreaming. yeah. Does oh, anyone try to talk to the automaton? I, I think <laughs> we just stay perfectly still yeah. <laughs> and try and lift our chin and push forward. Until it looks like a good angle, at least. <laughs> I slowly pull the sheet a little higher. <laughs> I pull the sheet a little lower. <laughs> And Odie continues sketching, adjusting to the new positions. Uh, <laughs> Moves an adjacent piece of paper next to it and keeps going. Yeah. <laughs> keeps taping them on. <laughs> All right. So. Is he the, done? Uh, the. I, I will say. I'm just I, afraid I'm gonna. I'm gonna just. I will say, for the sake of, of the narrative of this, the energy. <laughs> the energy will carry you through to the morning. Okay. So upon everyone waking. Uh, and gathering again before heading off in however way you wish. Um, the crew is by their their boats to return to the ship. Um, Uvenda is waiting to see you off. Um, and as you all begin to gather, you watch Pike as she approaches, her form flickering in the familiar visual of a you know, temporary time before she has to return. Oh, no. um, it's okay. As you approach to, to speak to everybody, Suddenly, from the side, Dodie seems to just slam into view like some weird hype man. Um, hype man! <laughs> and really just like hands you a fist, a, a, a metallic fist filled of, of pages torn out of the tone. <laughs> Thank you so much. And then runs off towards Tarion. Terry. Come here. Who, oh, me? Yes, you. <laughs> Couldn't be. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So, I figured you would have a little bit of an easier time if you know the names of the people that you're spending time with. Hmm. I had him make you some, I don't know, maybe some flashcards. So, oh my God. 
I take out a quill. Okay. <laughs> I hold up a photo. Who is this? What uh. you see before you <laughs> is a very beautifully, realistically drawn image of uh, a female half-elven druid and a male half-elven <laughs> rogue paladin, both clutching bed sheets, going. <laughs> 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 That's amazing. In the same drawing. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but how did. I mean, they would have had to have been. <laughs> I didn't realize he was going to draw them in their sleep. So let's just. Oh let's God. just. <laughs> <laughs> Please go through every picture. Oh. I uh, so many more questions than answers. <laughs> One of those two was dead yesterday, and yet they still found time to. Well, uh, the one on the left uh, is. I lovingly refer to her as Antlers. She is the most powerful and leader of the group. All those things are, are true, but um, take this, this quilt. Now, next to her, next to her picture, please write Keyleth. Dodie, you heard her. No, huh? no, 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 no. <laughs> Dodie stops when she says no. You are going to write it down. Mama Do you know how to write? Of course I know how to write. Okay, I'm an I, educated I man. Oh God, does he know how to write? <gasps> In what language? <laughs> what language do you prefer? I prefer gnome when I'm with, the, with you. <laughs> oh. Old habits okay. die hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good practice. <laughs> okay. So write down Keila. Hmm. Odd. Vowel sounds in your weird language. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he left. The man laying next to her. Mm -hmm. Do you know his name? Little Elf Boy. <laughs> I would never say that again. <laughs> his name is Vax. With a B, like Bax. With a V, as in. <laughs> Vagina. Vagina. <laughs> Mana from heaven. Mana from heaven. Got it? Uh, oh, X. All right. Next up. You know what? That one sounds familiar. I feel like he's introduced himself to me. Okay, next up, who's this? Uh, this is another pair. Um, <laughs> this, this one. <laughs> I'm Less so shy. <laughs> <laughs> it appears to be a, a a human male, looking confused, with glasses pressed up above the top of the forehead, <laughs> and uh, a half elven, dark haired uh, <laughs> female on top, <laughs> glancing back with a "Don't you fucking dare" expression. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh well. <laughs> Yes, I, I know, you're learning so much. <laughs> may, may I for a moment? <laughs> sure. Do you, do you think this is up, or? <laughs> you could have it any way you like it. <laughs> <coughs> I've read about that. <laughs> uh, all right. Just looking at the faces, then, who do you think they are? <laughs> Uh, the uh, the happy one is little elf girl. Oh, I would definitely not ever say that to her. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, what's her real name? Her name is Vex. Hmm. All right, Vex. And do you know that her and Vex are twin brother and sister? I could tell by the bone structure and okay. the contempt. <laughs> <laughs> Next to her, what is his name? 
Percival Frederickstein von Musil Carollo de Rolo the Third. <laughs> well done. Almost. 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 Kowalski de Rolo the Third. So Percival. Close Percival, close Percival Frederickstein von Musil. Muslix. So close. The Kowalski. Kowalski to roll over. That That all depends on how much whiskey. That's fair. That's a whiskey-based pronunciation. That we're not going to do in common. And you know what? I'll just abbreviate the middle part. That's okay. P. Dot, 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 DeRolo. <laughs> Two more to go. Who's this? Okay. <laughs> Let's see, of, of the... Uh... All right, so there is there is one of, uh, this one is is Pike, um, in, a, in a, a Hernomish form, uh, still wearing her armor in her astral form, um, just kind of looking like she realized she didn't phrase it properly when she made the request, <laughs> and being the last one sketched, and that moment, her expression says, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Before I answer, uh, uh, <laughs> answer, um, just a quick process question here. Okay. In the other images, there was some revelry, some Intercourse happening. Um, is that now that I'm a full-fledged member? Do I do I get to partake? Is this how it works with everyone, or is it just certain members? Is it a hierarchy? Is it some sort of a, a cultish thing where you have to prove yourself sexually and in battle, or how does that work? I, I or is it, am I misreading this? You know, <laughs> I think you should just continue to, to try to explore that. <laughs> because it would just be great just to see what happens. You never know, Terry. You just never know. All right. I uh, would never tell you no. <gasps> no! Not <laughs> no! <laughs> I would never tell you no to not to try with with the, with the with the people of the group. So you're saying that membership has its privileges. Mayhaps. Oh my God. Do you know my name? Uh, daughter of Saren Ray. I'm guessing. No, it's Pike. Hmm. Pike. And last but certainly not least. Whoa. Oh! <laughs> Doty, that. she said realism. <laughs> realism. <laughs> and there, in a, in a classic Michelangelo style pose, one knee cocked to the side, the beard fluffed, the rippling scarred muscles, and the obvious half giant side. Of Grog Strong Jaw before you on the page. That is not a picture of a Goliath and a halfling. <laughs> I mean, how does he walk? <laughs> With confidence and pride. Pick a leg. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I know. That is just. <laughs> That is primal. You took some, <laughs> some artistic liberties with this one. Oh. <laughs> Made it smaller. All right. Uh, I've been taking to calling him Jumbo, or the big guy. Okay. And it seems that I was correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, too far. this is Grog. So, say that again. Grog. Grog. Okay. And that is my very best friend. You know, I have learned that he is a confident ally and a friend to me as well. And I will do my best to protect him in battle in your absence. Well, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that is very, very kind of you. Oh. So, before I leave, my request is that you look at these every night before bed until you learn them. <laughs> I love, I love, I love. I love Mama Pike. Can you? 
in this form, can you see me all the time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I will. So I will know. <laughs> if you're not looking at your flashcards every night. <laughs> This is so stupid. <laughs> this is Dungeons and Dragons. This is amazing. <laughs> this is Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Milady, I swear it by my name. I will do so as you request. Thank you for saving one of my allies today. And wherever you are in the world, know that we are fighting the good fight. And I will keep your friends safe. Your friends, Greg. Nope. Vox, <laughs> Vox, <laughs> Kiko. Kiko works. And Percival, Frederick Steen, Von Musel, Kowalski, Dorolo, the third. I realized that was off of memory, so I'm going to let it slide. I have yes. a few more nights of studying to do. You do. Okay. It was wonderful to spend time with you. I'm going to just. I'm gonna go back over here. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Surf Trovels. <laughs> Surf Trovels. I did not expect uh, to go that far. <laughs> wow, I have short. a fresh uh, new set of six pack <laughs> abs after the last <laughs> 10 minutes. Seriously. Oh get All right, so oh as, as you guys oh gather. <laughs> Sorry, that went a little bit longer than no, I was. No, no, yeah. you know, uh, in, in Doty, take in Doty being literal, it led to all of that joy. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! So, uh, as you guys all gather on the beaches in the uh, late morning of Vesera, uh, Adele and her crew are waiting at the boats to return to the ship. Um, and uh, Yuvenda and a few other folks there. Uh, you see Durand, you see Yulan, the little boy that met you when you first got here, and a few of the other folks that you kind of met throughout the evening, all waiting. And as you approach, uh, Yuvenda kind of nods. And it has been an absolute pleasure to have you, Vox Machina, at the sides of Keyleth, to come and spend time with our people to celebrate the completion of a difficult journey. I would request before you leave to please return the goggles and neck pieces that we lent you. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's cool. Sure. It's like an IMAX theater. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Kind of, and they, they go and collect like the pieces from you as you go around. Yes. Thank you for flying Star Trek. And best of luck in your future journeys. If we, the Ashari of Esra, can be of aid to you in the future, please let us know. Thank you for everything. I'm sure we'll be in contact soon. Kaitiake. Kaitiake. And they turn around and start walking their way back to the center of Vesra, kind of some of the kids looking over their shoulders, kind of waiting to see what you guys do. And Adele is waiting there at the ship. All right, so, what's the plan? I mean, I totally could tree stride us anywhere, but I kind of want to take the boat again. Yeah, 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 yeah. we'll yeah. get all our money's worth out of the yeah, boat. Yeah, we paid a lot, yeah. What are we going to do? To Amon for now? Well, uh, Hojas is going to come for Pickle and I at some point. Um, but we need to do a little more homework mm. this time. We Where can we study? We the Cobalt Reserve, is it still standing at all in Amon? Yeah. Are there any books left? Got to go to the library. See. Yeah. We also haven't looked at any of the findings from Raishan's cave. Oh, yeah. Not, not yet. Uh. Lots of books to read. Real exciting. Mm hmm. Well, let's at least get back to Amman. It's the main port town. Yeah. It's a starting point. It's a starting point. We can also have them start looking at the books while we're away, telling us if they find anything of value. That's mm -hmm. true. Probably need to start studying Orcus as well. What? Uh, uh, orcas, orcas, after all that undersea struggle. All those killer whales. Struggle oh. you know. to be no our allies. Yeah. yeah. There'll be time on, on the ship. Let's let's take our time before the orcas. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, at this point Pike begins to flicker. No. It's Pike. okay. 
I'll see you guys very soon. Jello back home. Shot, yeah, going? back home. Jello shot. Uh, <laughs> we're heading to Amon, so we'll see you there, okay? Okay. okay. I'll see you soon. Wait, quick squeeze. Quick squeeze. <laughs> and she finishes her grass. <laughs> 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 okay, she's okay. She's fine. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna see let, let him sleep let it off. Sleep it off. <laughs> 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 you guys make your way onto the ship. You guys make your way onto the ship. Captain Ella at the helm. The boat so turns around, navigates the thin pathway between these exterior uh, reefs. And eventually to the open seas of Osmond. I am, um, if you're interested, Adela. Cause I'm feeling pretty spiffy. After. She's holding the the yeah <laughs> the, the witch like, uh, you worry me already. Right, okay, all right. I can control the winds and give us like forward-facing winds for a solid hour if you want. You want it? You want a little turn this into a speedboat? You know. <laughs> See how fast this goes? I don't know what this means. I've just seen other sailors do it, so. In a lot of countries, it means one thing. <laughs> Especially when sailors do it. <laughs> Be my guest. Okay. I cast fifth level control winds. Ooh. I'm gonna do just a solid gust behind us for a good hour. Okay. And with this consistently used, you guys can cut about half of the travel time back to Amon. Nice. So, but what normally would be, depending on weather, like five, six, seven days, you get there in three. Nice. Um, through the use of, of that and your general control weather abilities and stuff like that, it's it's, it's pretty fantastic. Um, thinking in the back of your head as you travel that um, while, while you have completed your Armenti, it is not done. You still have to return to complete your, your Armenti. Uh, you guys eventually find your way Coming into the docks on the western side of Iman, uh, the city still in the throes of rebuilding, restructuring. It's busy. People are returning and flocking to the streets. Um, it's very warm and welcoming to come back to a city that is coming to life again, um, where the grim reality post Thordax fall has now been replaced with it seems to be a, a vibrant, buzzing energy of recovery and moving forward. Uh, this still is the central city of Taldore, and the people who've returned to this are bringing it back as soon as they can to the splendor it once held, being the jewel city of this continent. Um, you guys, after docking, uh, Adela and the crew, which I can't recall, did you pay them in advance? Mm-hmm. Great. Um, <laughs> no, I, I'm sure I did. I, I, wrote, I marked it down. I'm so. pretty sure you did. Yeah. Um, so oh no, we didn't, because we had just decided. Oh, we had decided on 150 gold per day. Wait, wait. So oh. we went back quicker than we thought. So three days back, five days there, mm -hmm. and then how many days were we in? Uh, technically two, two. One, two nights in rest. Seven. So ten. So. Hey, save some money. Just over a thousand gold. That's good. Yep. That's not too bad. Yeah. I'll take care of it. Are you going to write her an IOU? No, I'll pay her in gold. Oh. Tarion, really? I hired you all. It's only the right thing, Vex. <coughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you, Tarion. I'm a man of my word. I'm going to stand by your side as you pay her. <laughs> Captain Adele is there with her crew behind her. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, should you require our assistance again, you know where to find us, and if not, we're busy making money elsewhere. Fuck off. Fifteen <laughs> <laughs> hundred? Yeah, she takes the, the, the coin purse from you. Plus a hundred fifty tip. Takes that. Paid Hands it to one of her, uh, her first mates. Plus two hundred for any damages to your ship. It was quite damaged. <laughs> Passes it off to her first mate again, and you can see the first mate is, is kind of the sheepish, mousy gentleman who's currently in the process of counting all the coins as they come in. He's like the onboard accountant, and he's just like, We're well, good. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much for your patronage. Wish you all a fun farewell. Thank now. Thank you. Tarion. 
Thank you. It's a pleasure doing business with you. All right. You guys head into the city, um, and with each street corner, there's another building <clears throat> with a roof that's being re-roofed. You can see walls being re-stoned and structured. You can see uh, carts being brought in from the docks as trade has now begun anew within the city. And there is a semblance of culture, life, and society continuing to still reemerge and spread with each visit to the city. And it's very uh, heartwarming and hearkening to the good that you've done through the struggles and challenges leading up to this time. I'm sorry, old man. Uh, who's in charge here these days? In charge of what? The city. Who's running things? Oh, the council. They're doing all right? I think so. Okay. Everything's steady as she goes? <clears throat> I mean, my house is in ruins and I haven't seen my grandchildren, but... Uh... <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, well, that was oh, Jesus! Well done. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Could I? <laughs> it's the most English thing I've ever seen. Sure thing, sure thing, grandfather. Good day to you. <laughs> and he just wanders off. Can I just pull Keyleth aside as we come on, on land? Mm -hmm. And just say, um, I was very impressed with you. For a long time I've, I've harbored a bit of doubt. I'm sorry to say. Oh. And when you brought us away from the Kraken, I, I was very angry and very fearful. But you've proven yourself so much. And, um, and I want to say I'm sorry. Uh, there is no need for an apology. Just you being there means everything. I believe in you. That means a lot coming from you because I think you're just the coolest. <laughs> <sighs> um, I'm sorry if I ever put you or your brother in harm's way or anyone else. We all did it willingly, he especially. Well, th thank you. What now? Well, we still have some things to take care of. We have a crown to get on your head. I can't believe you're going to be royalty. Royalty, royalty. Royalty Rule is a royalty. strong word. That's it's pretty a fucking lot. cool, it's Keith. A big word. Well, you're pretty cool yourself. Oh, mm -hmm. well. All grand mistress, night watch, or what's it called? Whatever. I'm You're not helping. Regardless. Keyleth. I'm glad my brother found you. I'm glad we all found you. <laughs> glad I found you guys. Love, love. Learned a lot from you, so thank you. <laughs> she winked at me again. <laughs> As you guys make your way through the city, towards the temple district um, of Iman. You find your way to the temple of Saren Ray, and as you begin to step on the outside, the doors already open, and knowingly awaiting, Pike steps out with a smile to greet you. Uh, no, <laughs> it's okay. I just disappeared because I, I, because it was, I was in the shimmery. I was the cotton candy. So you didn't hurt me at all. I like cotton candy. Yeah, but <laughs> I wasn't. I, that was a. I shouldn't say. I was. I wasn't like that. Oh. Then. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry if I hurt you. No, you didn't at all. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even feel it. Well, you were really getting strong. I just disappeared. Yeah. yeah. You disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> And over a big pile Hello, of seashells, seashell jewelry. Hi, it's like, now, now, 
There we are. Now you can Come wear us. He made oh. all his robe. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it fits good. I was a little worried. I he spent it. like the to... entire time on the boat braiding macrame. It was crazy. I've only got yeah. the medium glasses right now. Yes, <laughs> so yes, let's go. <laughs> He's getting into beating, it's odd. It's <laughs> interesting. I give him a big hug. Yeah. Everybody needs a hobby. <laughs> no, it's great. Macrame might be mine. Yeah. Like, like runs up and gives you a big hug. <laughs> Stress relief. Yeah. I give him a big hug. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Terry. Hello, Pike. In the flesh this time. Mm -hmm. I hope that you see that I've been doing as you asked every night. <laughs> Can I insert you? Go for it. Did we hear him say I... that? Uh, under his breath, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Natural oh, oh, <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, telling the truth straight up. There is a look of genuine okay. awe and fear in his eyes when he looks at you. I'm very proud of you. You need to continue until you know it by heart. I think I've learned their first names at least. I know. <laughs> you have. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do we now do now, fellows? Uh, to the keep? Yeah, you want to see where we, we live? Start by the library. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Soon. Yes. Yeah, let's go to yeah, Grace Absolutely. Yeah, I'll give you a place to put down your things for a bit. <laughs> do yes. you have the the papers with you that you pulled from Raishan? Um, from those uh, they're they're in the bag of holding. I'll help oh, you sweet. research those. Yeah, we'll those. we'll go do a bit of that. All right. Okay. So you guys make your way back to Grace Gold the other workshop. Um, Ooh, there's the, something I uh, to think. Oh, good, I actually need to talk to you about that. Much to your joy, uh, some of your original servants have returned from what? Whitestone. Yay! Um, you all came back! Uh, you do see within there uh, Lena and Erwin oh, both shit. clean the place. I was so worried about yeah. that! Yeah, that's not <laughs> Lena greets you as you call and she's like, Oh, goodness me, it's been so long, ah. all of you. Welcome, it's so good to see you. Oh. Well, as you were wondering about, we were all just keeping it down over there in Whitestone, but it's so nice to be back. Uh, oh, this place, it needs some work. Please don't be judging. I'm trying to clean as best I can. And the place looks pretty good based on the last time you saw it, but there's still like dust gathered around. She looks generally nervous. Her hair's kind of wrecked. And You're doing a great job. Yeah, we're all we're really a bit trying. of a work in progress. Yeah. It's fine, That's dear. very fair. Yeah. Oh, and Sharon's and Erwin comes up. You see him, you know, the very, very uh, an old halfling male with his long gray ponytail. Oh my God. And it is <laughs> great to see all of you once more. Erwin. Erwin. <laughs> You're still alive. Yeah, how did you manage? We thought so. natural causes might, you know. Yeah. It is, was very possible, yes. <laughs> Can I insight check him? Yes, you may. <laughs> <laughs> 19. No, is that a natural 20? It's a natural, natural 20. 20. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, He's got he over dead. whispers he, about he's, her. He's, he's maybe he's like, like a, He has consumption. He's maybe like a, <laughs> <laughs> Guys, <laughs> use the code <laughs> Loot Crate to get 10% oh, off. Enough. Enough. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't trust your facial expressions crate. anymore. I don't know, I know you. Well, huh? Huh? I reach and I grab the Dwarven Thrower. Mm-hmm. Welcome back, you son of a oh. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll crush you into jam. <laughs> I, I must say, I greatly appreciate you all being so um, quick in getting us out of that whole dragon mess. I was rightfully frightened for my life. <laughs> anyway, I need to continue making your bets. Oh, and he slowly begins nice. shuffling off towards the stairway. Well. I love him. That. He's too good for us. Yeah. That is unexpected. Yes, yeah. he's still alive. <sighs> Man. So this is your house. Exactly. Yes. This is where we would have dinner. It's more of a summer oh, home. And that's that's a giant portrait of um one of our members who you haven't met. Oh. He he made it riding on a on a unicorn. It was, yeah. Yeah. It's great. Really? Then, oh, you should show him, show him the Oh, no, we're going to get there, but I figured we'd give him the full tour. Okay. Are we going to tell him the fucking name or what? Yeah, it's Grayskull Keep. Cool. 
That's a really cool name. I know. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's, uh, it's excellent. Think about redecorating. I, uh, have you lived here very long? Because there's, uh, well, it's on and off. It's Fortunately, yeah. summer home, really. We've Too been, long. Uh, Took a time to from it for a while. Yes. It's like you might want to consider uh, different uh, uh, keepers of this place. It seems a bit. Uh, uh, it, they it were seems fucking like, dragons, Terry. All right, dragons. You're right. It's just I'm no. But just if you have if you it. have any input on de on decor or otherwise, we would be interested. So, mm. lots of murals, lots of tapestries. Oh, I, I would assume most of the murals are one of our friends. But yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll we'll vary it up a bit. I don't know how long we're staying here, but you can, you can have my old room. You got a room. Where will you sleep? <laughs> In my old room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 All, all right. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is Good coffee today. <laughs> A second time, Polly Machinas come up in our camp. <laughs> Tyrion and the two guards in Singor really confused. <laughs> All right, and I'll definitely I'll show him the downstairs, and any any time you want to use the the workshop downstairs, it's it's a bit thin at the moment. Yeah, most of the tools have been stolen. But. Well, we'll have to go in town and buy some replacements for you. You can yes. make shit though. What can you make? Uh, anything I set my mind to, if I have enough raw materials. Ooh. Yes. Hats. Sure. Uh, Do you need a hat? Invisibility. Sure, I can. I've done that before. I've given mm. you invisibility coins. Do you have a specialty? Do you do clothing yeah. or right. anything alchemic? Gizmo. Teleportation. Hey, I don't think I can do that. But really? anything that combines a little bit of magic with a little bit of uh, engineering, I can probably manage. What about a beard trimmer? A beard trimmer. Yes. What? He's looking sure. a little shaggy. Death has changed you. Sure, that seems like an an easy an easy thing to do. Yeah. Uh, you seem pretty clean shaven, though. Uh, yeah, I don't grow thick. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty sparse, what? actually. What's he? Uh, oh. <laughs> Dirty birds. I go to the library. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? I want to go to the library. Uh, yeah, be a trimmer. I'm on it. I need a beer trimmer. I'm on it. Feel free Vax. to restock whatever's missing. Uh, Keyleth and I, I think at the very least, and maybe anybody else who wants to go upstairs and start pouring through the wonderful private nooks and crannies of the library, please. How are you going to do that, by the way? Nooks and crannies? Yeah, it like, does not require reading. Uh, yeah, I've got, the, well, they're not very good, are they? No, they're not, are they? I, do I have any spare, I don't have any spare glasses. What do you need? Do I? I think I need the glasses. What you got? <laughs> mm. <laughs> you already got his ascot, don't you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let me think about that for a moment. Carry on. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Grog, did you steal Percy's glasses? No, he actually gave them to me. Yeah, but I found out from Vex that when you luck trade, you get something in return. And last time, I got a title. Yeah. Did? Yeah, I'm the Grand Duke Bob Bink of all the other day. <laughs> that sounds all fun. <laughs> It's a top secret title, <laughs> and it comes with all the <laughs> land and money and a bunch of short names. Wait, wait. Lands and money of where? Of I, I don't know. Oh, probably, God. probably. Make a tinkering check. I always right. knew you were royalty. It's proficiency plus dex. Yeah. I never remember. Uh, well, no, it's probably good enough. Let's see. Eighteen. Uh, <laughs> Just didn't roll one. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you produce a. Uh, with, what, with what little materials you have there, all material stuff, you happily do so. I have made a tiny pinwheel. Oh. It spins, I, and it's made of metal. I do a little <clears throat> gust cantrip to blow it. And I put it on your lapel, or your little strap <laughs> that counts as a, you just, I just put it in a belt loop. That's the cutest thing. Am I, am I a fucking child? <laughs> now you know if there's wind blowing. 
This is what I had. I'm really like, I'll give the glasses back when I'm done with them. This is a rental charge. Because of my high office, I will forgive this offense. <laughs> Come back when you're serious. Cloak of smashing, title, whatever. I'm sure you're very smart. You'll think of something. You want another title? I'll keep this as a deposit, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys go to the library. What are you looking for specifically? Uh, what are we doing? Reasons are like Hotus and like uh, the Nine Hells. Hell. Investigation uh, check. Orcus. Yeah. All of it. I'm also good. Ooh! 26. Uh, which one are we doing? Investigation. I'm just, just going to help with the spines of books at this point. Okay. Yeah, I'll do the reading from Percy until he gets his glasses back. There you go. <laughs> You're hard pressed to find anything in your uh, library that gets very specific. There are mythological mentions of the Nine Hells, of multiple layers of demon princes, but there are, the books that you have at your disposal largely speak about them like a fairy tale, or talk, talk about historical mentions of them to the history of Exandria, of the betrayer gods, and the the old uh, you know, Age of Arcanum days, but nothing specifically about the Hells. So even even with research, you just don't have those books in the keep. We gotta go somewhere better. That's the line. Isn't there a library there? There's a library here, the Cobalt Reserve. It was just kind of smashed, but I wonder if there's though, still but... books there. The Cobalt Reserve is in Western. Just kidding, it's in Western. But it is essentially the largest collection of the most uh, dense and sacred books. Hey, on that's the a good idea. You hey, just, uh, I was just Western. wrong about yeah, the city. Yeah. That's it. Shit. All right. You what do you think? Western. Well, I don't think we should go charging into the Nine Hells like we did. Uh, no. In the ocean. <laughs> When you put it like that, yeah. Let's Should try we go to, to Western. Better, yeah. Maybe not today. I mean, no. We just got here, but yeah. That's where we'll go to. Yeah. Yeah. Tight. Tight. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> We're reading tight. papers from Raishan. Also, yeah, going. Okay, to so you're pulling out <laughs> some of the notes you'd gathered. Um, what languages do you guys speak? I speak. Primordial. Speaker read. Esperanto. Well. Jerry, do you, do you read and speak about it? High school Spanish. Languages I know. Primordial, Druidic, Sylvan, Elven. Common, Celestial, Silver. Elven. Right. Um, most of these Abyssal. notes you cannot read. The language you've, personally, you recognize the script, a lot of them are written in Abyssal. All right. Um, and I can read Abyssal. We read Abyssal, we studied in school. Right, so do you go and call their help? <laughs> Who reads Abyssal? I can't, who reads it all? This I is all Abyssal. out of focus. Oh, do you need help reading a book, need, Percival? Do you need help? Because we both speak yeah. Abyssal. Grog, you both stole speak his glasses. Go easy on That's them. Oh, good, did not steal, they were a gift. They Excuse a me, gift. but this is a once in a lifetime uh, moment for me. Are you enjoying anyways. yourself? Do you, this, is my this is my gift to you. Welcome. Happy rebirth day. <laughs> Thank you, Fred. Have a seat. Let me translate for you. <laughs> and a very merry unbirthday to you. Well. I'm glad I let Grog hit you because I know it hurt more. Mm. <laughs> All right, so you glance through the, the, some of the notes that were gathered. Um, a lot of them appear to be almost gibberish in the, f the formula, the, the order of words. They don't make sense, right, or at least for the whole In Abyssal, the verb goes on the end of the sentence, which is different than in common. You might not have known that. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you do make up, some of them are historical discussions on the roots of powerful magic. Um, you know, elements during the founding, they mention a few times. Um, they speak of the, uh, the original Titans, they speak of a lot, it's a lot of very Cimmerillian type dense, scattered notes. Um, some of the books that you pull are specifically arcane spell books, 
but they're also written in abyssal. Aww. And as neither of you are practitioners of arcane magic, you have no idea what they say. You just recognize them to be sort of spell markings. Uh, that's, some, that's some bullshit. Um, nice. And there is the one, there is the one large dark leather tome that is still locked on the side, and that right. was what was on the. That one feels is like super <laughs> scary looking, though, right? It's, it's of all the books, it, it looks like probably the, the premium book of Opasha's collection. Does it have like you know, like a writing on the cover? Do you need writing on the uh, cover. It has no writing on the cover. <clears throat> it is just a a, a dark black leather bound tome, roughly that big, uh, that looks like it's it's weathered, scratched in places. It has kind of like a like a deep metallic cornered but prim Gilmore bits to it. Gilmore looked at that. Mm, awesome. I had Gilmore look at that, and he said it was scary. He he said whoever whoever is whoever decides to to read it should. Be strong of will. That was his warning. Right. How's your will? Yeah, lock on a book is one of those like in universal, universal titles that makes sense in any language. Question. Yes. DM. What would will? Res- wisdom is that wisdom? That's a like wisdom modifier. Okay. Generally, like wisdom saving throw. That's generally the kind of willpower test Did element. Did John okay. say to read it or to open it? Or do we remember? He said whoever read it whoever had read to read be it. careful. Okay. Do I see any kind of uh, trap to the the lock on? Investigation check. Are we going there? Well, I'm just checking it. I'm not over. Uh, If you wish to. That's fine. Mike should read it. Uh, Perception, you said? 22. Mike's got crazy wisdom. We should make her look at it. Hmm? 22. 22? Uh, It does not appear to be trapped. It is locked, though. Okay. Uh, I will. Do, do we want to crack this yes. shit open now? I mean, Absolutely. maybe Pike should look at it. Yeah, I'm not going like... to fucking read it. I'm just going to open it for Pike. Wait, was there, I... did, you didn't detect any traps? I didn't. It seems all right. Can I do detect magic on it? Sorry. No, it's fine. It's already been notified. Yeah. It's a moment yeah. told that it's magical. From yeah. Can I cast oh, we do know it's Identify magical. on the lock Ooh. or something? On the book. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or the... Uh, that's essentially what, uh, Gilmore, did? what Gilmore did. Oh. Um, it's not a magical item with like abilities or powers, it just has a magical essence to it, and it's That's ancient. Right. We should have Pike look at this. Yep. Pike, look at this. Well, I'm gonna try to unlock. Wait, wait, okay. wait! Make I just wanted pick. to. Oh God. Yeah. Make picking. Well, no. Do you want? Is there anything you want to do, it's Pike? Just before a, I pick it up? It's just a dark book we found it in Raishan. Well, in. Opasha's oh, slash Lord Axe layer. Slash Raishan's. It's just a locked book of unspeakable evil. Really. Yeah. Yeah. It's not Gilmore good. said to be careful of it. Yeah. Like do you think? Flesh. Do you fellows think that it will explode or something bad when we I open just it? Afraid oh God! Of, like, if that's all. Take over someone's <laughs> mind or something. Yeah. Why don't we have Doty open it? What's your will, Pike? Your, your wisdom? What's Doty's will? I don't know. It doesn't it matter. It breaks or fix him. You would add your saving throw wisdom. Mm. We'll find out. Oh. Can I assist Pike in some way since we're both wise as fuck? Uh, you guys could both attempt to read it together, and you'd both have to. Possibly be tested. Mm. Um, That's your call. My saving throw really, modifier really is plus right, eleven. So hold on a minute. My regular modifier. What are we doing? Hold on a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna unlock it. Yes. I'm not even gonna open it. I'm just gonna unlock it. <laughs> so I get between everybody in the yeah. book. Close your eyes as soon as you unlock it. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is. Uh, that's fine. That's uh, twenty six. Boom. <laughs> It opens. Uh, okay, ho- 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 hold on. Hold the latch on. opens, not the Hold on. Keyleth, Pike, uh, Vex, come in. I'm gonna step, I'm in the doorway, man. I can't read We can do it, I, I go up. I we go can up. do it together? Right. <laughs> I cast I don't know. I don't know. Bless on Pickle, on Keyleth, and uh, my twin's far away, so I guess on myself. Yeah, get it. And okay. then I step behind the girls. <laughs> okay. And watch. All right. Who's doing what? Oh no, um, that face. Um, oh no, what's that face? What's that face? Like Three people reading a book. <laughs> it doesn't get any it. more intense. Let's not turn this into burying the shoebox. It's just a book. Let's just read it. Should we have Jody look at it? If we wouldn't be able to tell. That didn't work much more powerful than Doty ever. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. I mean, do it if you want to. I'm standing in the doorway. Okay, all right, all right. If you want to read it, I'll kind of go like over your shoulder and be on the ready in case anything bad happens. The cover of a book, in a way, the cover of a book is kind of like a door. 
a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we're facing okay. the door. All right. What? To I'm going to <laughs> take my quill, okay. and I'm just gonna like peek it open, just like a little bit. Okay. You peek it open. <laughs> Anything happens? No. Just the, the top creaks open. Bikini Island. It'd be like right. the, the, flip the it second up. act. <laughs> second act. It, the, the top of the tome flips open. A couple pages go like, <laughs> kind of stuck to it, and then fall back into place. Fall back into place. What? what? Well, it's what? just open. It's, it's just, just open. The, page, the pages kind of like curl back in, almost like okay. they were stuck nothing to weird. the. Nothing weird. The, okay. Nothing weird. Yeah. Um, just air. A, a, just a little air. bit. Of, yeah, a little bit of a, dust kind of like <laughs> off the bottom of it. Um, the pages are old. You see a little bit of text drawn on it. What does it say? What is it? What does it look like? What languages do you know? Shush. Gnomish, common, underdark, undercommon, dwarvish. Ooh. You do not recognize the text. I can't read it. Is it abyssal? Shit. It is abyssal. Ah, fuck. You are the only ones who can speak abyssal. <laughs> oh no. no. Time to die. Uh, I'll do it. What? Let me see. How much? How wise? Okay. Are you? All right. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You're not even as wise as I am. Who's? Who wants to read it? I That's can. That's very subjective. I'll enhance your abilities. Enhance <laughs> does not really help with saving throws. Just as you know. I'll cast just ability bless. checks. Oh, it's an ability it. check. It'll help. I'll bless but myself. Just so you know. Can I do anything else? It's up to you. <laughs> Turn into <laughs> dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm just eat up. the book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna okay. cast. I'm gonna cast bless on her. Okay. Are you reading? Yeah. So I'm, I cast enhance ability on her and give her, I think it's owl's wisdom. Sure. Ooh. All right. Ooh. So, I, I run over. I give you a quick kiss. I say, if you turn evil, it's still cool. Just, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Vex. Yeah. You begin to glance through the pages and the the words kind of form around you and you. Get a ways into it, and it's interesting. This is this is a personal notebook. It's a tome, but this is written by Opash. This, this is, is a girdle. Yeah. <laughs> this is well this done. Well done. this well done. this goes into Opash's uh, history on Marquette during the Age of Arcanum. A lot of the terrible experiments that he was currently working on that dealt with. Rending and capturing the soul, uh, uh, you know, capturing servants and people that wandered the desert and would just had had a series of caverns across the continent <laughs> that were his to use, where he kept these individuals trapped in gems or glass uh, uh, menagerie type structures, where he would come back at his whim and just destroy souls, soul shatter them, corrupt them. Forge them into things, um, feed on them. He he was he was fascinated with the never ending essence of existence and how to manipulate and make it his own. Um, and so it goes into that, it goes into the people that didn't understand him in Marquette, how he was driven out, the trials that were put against him, his banishment to the to the island, and then him learning about the, the facet of this island. There's something about the metal here, something very long, something very ancient about this island that becomes this kind of black hole of arcane projection. Um, astral projection is not possible from the island, he discovered oh, as he attempted that. And uh, travel magics that go to or from the island have a very difficult uh, ability to escape it, if, if not get very messed up in the process. Um, however, it talks about how when he was banished there, he discovered uh, the indigenous people and those that lived on nearby islands that would go from ship, they would take you know, small ships from island to island, and there was a trade route there. He convinced and corrupted them to come and uh, work for him. And such, he brought the entire civilization from these multiple islands to then come and live on this island under him, and then he reaved them all to become his experiments to continue here on this island. And you get a sense reading through that the masses of people that you saw within that giant chasm uh, that were clawing at you as you passed, those were all the people that used to live on these islands. Oh my gosh. Um, you then also discover um, a few different chapters. One that, that mentions uh, Finding a near-dead dragon that washes on shore, oh. Ooh, uh, a red dragon on the cusp of death, <gasps> and what a great gift this is to discover now to to to, to toy with the soul of an ancient entity like this, and it speaks about years and years of enslaving this red dragon, and torturing, and extracting information, and and manipulating, and and 
making it his own toy, and then began to pull together research it had read elsewhere of the continuation of a dragon's soul, of being able to take the spirit of a dragon and make it indestructible and to live from body to body. And if he could find a way to, 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 to correct this to work for himself, it wouldn't be, his power would continue without the binds of lichdom that a lot of uh, other type magics would eventually be bound to. The, uh, the phylactery element um, through a dragon transition would be a lot easier to maintain and his hope in doing so. Uh, it began to speak of a ritual, one that uh, involved uh, this ancient, ancient entity, a dragon called Guthal the Everfed a mighty black dragon that was instilled with necromantic power that terrorized the world during the Age of Arcanum in its first millennium. Um, Gethul had used ritualistic aid, forbidden rites, and sacrifice of its own life force to be born again as this never dying new form of unlife, um, referred to as a Dracolich. Um, however, the last few notes in Opasha's hand end abruptly, and a new handwriting in Draconic begins. Which I also read. Which you also read. These notes are less poetic and kind of speaking to itself in the way that Opash was by himself and needed some, something to converse with, and he chose his, his words. This is a much more direct, trying to piece together parts of an equation. And you start seeing references to uh, Germain Saord. You see references to um, you know, being, being the king that rises from the ashes, being the, you begin to realize these are the words of Thordak. And this was the moment that Thordak overtook Opash, destroyed him, and made the layer his own. This history then goes into Thordak's interest in trying to find power to take this ritual unto himself and thus become an undying entity. The notes finish with the intent of Thordak going north to seek out mages, to seek out power, things he can bind to his will and bring them back to make this ritual happen. And that's the last passage you see. No. And you begin to realize that the knowledge that Thordak had and was holding from Raishan was the knowledge of this ritual that would probably be what would enable her to bypass the curse. Oh my gosh. That she had. But we killed her. But you killed her. This could've, could have been so much worse. Yes, yes it could have. I also need you to make a wisdom saving time. Oh, shnikes. Can I, um, bless, bless, bless. Yes. um bless. What, do I, what does Bless do? Can I also cast Beacon of Hope on her? I can spray. Don't fight me, Gail. What does Beacon of Hope do? Beacon of Hope gives you advantage on wisdom saving throws. Okay. That was tight. So, Beacon of Hope is good. It's already good. Okay, Roll 16. a d4 and add it. 18 plus three. It's a saving throw? Saving throw, yes. 18 plus three is 21. What is that? Plus two. Wisdom? 23. Huh? 23. Okay. okay. It gives you advantage on wisdom checks. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not saving throws. Not saving throws. Okay. So as you're reading through this, you guys watch as, as Vex's oh, wait, attention. Did I, wait, 18, 19, 20. There's 23. 25. 25. 25, okay. Oh, as, no, that's a 16. I'm sorry, I was right. It was 23. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm a dick. As, as you are reading through this and go through, you watch as she turns the page faster and faster, and her eyes unblinkingly are just scanning the pages with rapid pace. And uh, Vex, you feel this kind of cold essence begin to curl through your shoulders and into the back of the neck. And right as you finish the last bit of notes before Thordak, you feel something try and reach for the back of your mind. Cold fingers, 10, 20, an endless supply of grasping fingers reach for the back of your mind, and you just shrug it off and pull yourself away from the book and the cold fades. I shut the book. You, you all right? Great. Bad story. Uh, I tell them everything I read. Yeah. 
super fast because I'm like a speed reader. It's no big deal. <laughs> you were reading for like 25 minutes. Actually. Oh shit! Yeah. Well, it was a big journal. Yeah, it's amazing. And Anastasia Steele fell in love with Christian Grey just like that. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Knockout. Oh my god. Wow. Now I can feel the fingers in the back of my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. All the rest of you workers make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I know Everybody Laura read that. So. <laughs> um, I read most of it, and then I just threw the book away. Uh, Pike, can can we destroy this thing? I, that was well. Actually, what I was should we see destroy if we should. this? Thing? I feel like maybe. I mean, the knowledge exists now. It's that's outside true. the book, and if the book was there's something in there. Can we have Dodie copy down everything that you just said? Uh, oh, oh, said. actually. You said, not like right. exact transcriptions, just so that we yeah. keep the knowledge. Transcription of the story. In I mean, sure, he can he can record what her report is, if, if you'd like, sure, yes. That would be in oh, right. right. Dodie walks over to one of the nearby shelves and finds one of the books that is only partially written and tears out all the pages that have oh, that was, okay, no, no, that was. That's something. And just begins transcribing from memory what you just said. High about. school notes. No, that was that was a uh, uh, that was a sea captain's journal. It's okay. It doesn't matter. There's. It's not oh, that the pages expensive. He didn't burn them. I mean, we could just. Are we read. doing that now? I, I mean, no, I can help him. No, 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 no. I mean, should we destroy destroy this? I think so. Oh. It's, it's magical of some sort. I mean, it, it certainly felt like felt like something was trying to reach through. It doesn't set well with me. And what good does it does it do the world to know how to bring back souls <laughs> as the undead? It seems kind of dark. Do you lot have some sort of a vault here or something? Do we? They didn't have a maid. Not here. We do in white. Even even if there is a vault, all the vault is is a it's the one place in any city where everyone knows something valuable is kept. A magical know. vault somewhere you can send this thing to be far well, away. Well, we have a bag of holding. Ooh, we you know what? We could like send it into the plane where Craven Edge is, and we'll take the sword oh. out you and know, put the book like in its place. Slowly, there's I someone collecting terrible, terrible things. things. We could throw it into the black spinny thing under Whitestone, oh, or no. we could just give it to Allura. We were also going to the Cobalt Reserve anyway. We could see, I'm sure they have some sort of That's library special secret book vault. I would feel all right with that. Let's keep it in the bag of holding for the time being. Okay. Let's relock it. Relock it. Relock it. Yeah, relock yeah. it. I, I vote we take it to the Cobalt Reserve. I, I concur. Okay. You concur? I concur. I concur. concur? Either that or Vasselheim. One of the two will have options, I, I'm sure. I feel that the Cobalt Reserve will probably have some sort of, of situation for books like this. Okay. That seems reasonable. Yeah. So what's the next step? We're going to go to Westrun, right? Did we go through all of the papers that Raishan and everything the, had for mm, the most that, part? Those, all those notes that seem to pertain one. to that book, and once you had the information from uh, Vex, it kind of connected all the dots. A lot of these were notes regarding this ritual uh, trying to find ways to break the chain of uh, the life-death cycle and obsession with the alteration and harvesting of souls and spiritual energy for the use of powering arcane uh, experimentation. So, not he good. Not good stuff. He mentioned going north and looking for other powerful entities and objects to bind with, Why and then Raishan thought it would be a good idea to settle down in Whitestone. Before I we killed well, Raishan, Wild didn't she say? Raishan said she was from Wildmount. Right, right, and she, she said that she had found what she needed. Oh, no, Raishan actually was from. Uh, south. She was south of Taldore. Yeah. She was? But yeah. Yes. She went. She had an interest in Whitestone, which makes me wonder what the spinning black orb of death has to do with all of this, because I'm still not convinced that it doesn't have some sort of. It's just a everything. spinning black orb of death Dedicated sitting underneath my Vecna. family home. There's no, it's nothing. We, I'm, I'm well aware that's terrible. I don't know why you're staring at me like that. Yes, I think about it a lot. I'm. I'm just, you know. I just don't know what to do about it. Well, we can. Well, not me, but 
smart people can devote more attention to it now that there's not five great dragons trying yeah. to tear the world apart. Will help. Right. What time is it? Uh, at this time, with you guys traveling through the city, getting here, the research, I'd say it's getting pretty close to the, uh, pretty close to the dusk. Probably have another like hour or so before the sun sets. Um. You all want to rest, take the night off, head to Western in the morning? Sure. Yeah. Back to the keep. Back to the keep. We are in the keep. We you are, are in the keep. keep. Stay in the keep. <laughs> <laughs> Is has Iman come back enough to have shops open for business or anything? Or? Yeah, I mean, not everything was destroyed. There are shops that are open, and there Definitely. there are people running business here. I mean, the lumber of the districts got damaged, and some buildings are having to be rebuilt. But it is still a, a functional city, uh, though to a lesser degree right now. You know, you want to shop now or later. I don't want to waste time, but everything I do, I have to buy. Uh, well, we can we can shop in the morning on the way sure. out. Yeah. Yeah. Not That's in a fair. huge rush. I'm yeah. at your disposal. We'll shop in a morn in the morning and then head out to Western. They'll have shops there too, just not as many. Brunch. Brunch. Mm. At dawn we brunch. At dawn we brunch. <laughs> <laughs> No chicken. Mm -hmm. As the sun sets across the Taldore sky, you all settle in for the evening to rest, contemplate the return of your ally, your next venture in researching the path before you is Vox Machina, you to return soon to finish your Aramente to your people and see what lies ahead of you by the threads of fate wielded by the Raven Queen. At dawn, you brunch, and until then, we'll return <laughs> next week in the next episode of Critical Role. Yeah. 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 Everybody, still alive for the time to eat. I really want brunch right now. I just want brunch so badly. <laughs> I miss brunch. Uh, yeah. Donuts. San Diego. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, congratulations to our winner earlier. Thank you again, Loot Crate, for being an awesome sponsor. Loot Crate. Awesome. What's up? We did make it for Almond We made it for oh, Almond yeah. You guys, yeah. you guys are amazing. Yeah. 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 So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get her all the best legal work that we can to try and keep her in our space. Yeah. So thank yeah. you guys so much for being so generous and helping out with that tremendously. <gasps> tremendously means a lot, uh, both to her and all of us here at Geek and Sundry. So uh, thank you, thank you. Um, some of us, I'll be returning tomorrow at noon for uh, Eric's DVD RPG, uh, Doctor Who, which will be fun, uh, with Darren DePaul. <laughs> Doctor Who, I'm sorry, you're right. Um, and then all of us will be here on Saturday for the 24 hour, two year anniversary stream. I don't know for how many, 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 many of us. Many of us will be here. Definitely, on Saturday. Matt, tell us something about it, and maybe yeah. others. Hey, you don't have to DM, uh, DM the mansions for once. That's true. Yeah, yeah the new Apple, edition. Apple will do it for you. It's wonderful. Apple? I was I was the keeper almost every time for years. Um, a, big surprise, right? Um, <laughs> it's a, it's a you did actually. Like which is why I said which I said most. Oh, a few. It's a few though. If, 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 we, if we bring the expa expansion, yeah. you can still be Ashcan Pete too. Oh hell yeah! Who yeah. can Ashcan? Ashcan Pete. Ashcan Pete's the best. <laughs> Anyway, guys, happy. awesome work, Ashley. We love having you. Yeah. Oh, oh, don't go back. I know, I don't want Save. to. I'm so close. There's, I, yeah, I have about like soon. three and a half to four weeks, and yeah, then I'll be, be home. Oh. Yeah. Yay. Can you do the, the Skype things with us like next week? Do you don't, know? Don't, 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 no pressure. Okay. I'm allowed. I don't I like care. Care. Production I always, hurts. I always hope so, but. Sometimes that's that proved to be a little bit more difficult for some reason this season. But it's because they made your part so big this season. I know. You're so I talented. Don't so talented. Talented. So so bad. Amazing. 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 Stupid just, innate ability. No. Shooting everybody it's, and then the rest. It's just, you know, time change and things. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Mm. I love being here though. No, no, we miss you. Soon, so soon. 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 We'll be back soon. So soon. So soon. soon. Alright, guys. Do we have an EMT and a stomach pump on hand for Sam for after the oh, show? My yeah. Oh How's your tummy? I, I ate a lot of sugar and caffeine at the beginning of this show. There's big league chew. I feel chew. very strange. <laughs> There's big league chew on the floor. There is big league There's chew on the floor. There's a little bit of big league chew. Yeah. That is disgusting. And probably in my lower wait, intestine. Wait, wait, oh, wait. <laughs> Do not touch that. Wow, no, no, that went through fast. No, Talison. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm never eating Big League Chew oh, again. Good, then, then uh, something yeah. positive has come out it of this. It was purple flavor. Yeah. <laughs> purple flavor. That's not supposed to be purple. Guys, thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Love to you all, and is it Thursday yet? Good night, guys. Hello. I'm Lisa Loeb, and I'm here to talk with you about dinosaurs. You want to say? What do you? What do you mean you want to save dinosaurs? What is this? You lightning! You bloodthirsty death monster! Ah! Never quite get used to that sound. Hello. 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 April 29th is Tabletop Day! Just direct your Twitch to Geek and Sandre! All around the world we'll get people to play! And play and play and play and play! We're celebrating game designers and the players! Cards and dice and role-playing slayers! Teams or blow up whatever your flavor! Scream and shout but respect your neighbors! So let's join forces all for one and one for all! If you love games, come on! You guys okay? April 29th is tabletop day!